us and they can see us. Really? So we're, we're on? We're on. We're on. We are live. We're on, so we are live at this moment. Hello. Yeah. We're not. Oh, no. So we're <laughs> No, there's a live. delay. But there's a delay, but it's mm. going to come up on yeah. my screen in a second. And then you're going to see it. The camera, the camera's sitting on top of my computer and I'm looking at I your just, laptop there. I question if you this need is... to watch this in high D. I just worry about our <laughs> terrible Australian internet. Mm. Oh, good point. Yeah, right. We should probably explain we're here at my mother's house mm -hmm. um, because she's on the NBN, which is the good internet that is, well, I mean, it's the best internet Australia yeah. can offer. Only some people have it at the moment yeah. and they're gradually it's a, rolling it's it out. It's a national lottery. Yeah. yeah. And, um, and we actually had the opportunity to get good internet and then we held an election and we decided we didn't want it. Yeah. What are we... What's what's an, what else do we need to do to explain how fucked this country is? Uh, <laughs> well, anyway, I don't know if that's necessarily what. I we mean, let's start positive. Yeah. yeah. Um, my name is Ben Jenkins. This is I'm David Harmon. Uh, my name is Ben Davis. I'm going to turn this off because it's 15 seconds ago that we're looking at. And it's yeah. really no, upsetting, just, isn't it? Oh yeah, I can't take it. I'm going to go back to Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, we're, you're about to watch uh, a very well a second episode that we didn't. We did the first one in Seattle. Hmm. Uh, a second episode which we recorded a little over a day ago um, mm -hmm. of a pub in Sydney. Yeah. Um, a shout out to the public house Petersham. Thank you uh, very yeah, much. Yeah. They have a fine bistro we, and uh, we young filmed Henry's inside also. a whale. Yep. Mm -hmm. that, it, yeah. That. You can't really tell, but that's what the go is. Yeah. Um, so we're going to be here answering any questions that you have um, as the stream comes up. We'll be on. We'll be in the chat. Uh, I won't. I'll be leaving very shortly. Um, oh, it's Benny's birthday. birthday! Yeah, it's a lovely yeah, day, it's... and uh, don't feel like doing this. Sure. So, all sure. right. Well, once yeah. again, you're. Um, this is the first ever. This is exciting. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. Um, Benny's I'm, going I'm, to the zoo. No, I'm stoked. I just. It's you know. I only am here to let you in, and so you can use the internet. That again. Um, only a select few people have one of them being my mother. Well, we're probably going to get Betty's mum up here and she can chat with you too. So. <laughs> um, also, if you want to draw anything um, or ask us a question, just tweet at us. Uh, the Twitter's down below. And Is anybody watching? Do, do, do we have anyone yet? I don't know. <laughs> There's yeah, look, there are where... people talking. Hey, hey, the chat. hey, Jay Stone, hey. TD2, Griffin Argent, Frecht, your ma'am Kablam, got it for, got it for. Got a foo. Our man got hey, a foo. Hey, that's our man uh, got a foo. He's um, a brilliant he's... music producer. Really? He's the uh, guy cool. the remix yeah. of Ah, uh, that's right, yeah. He did Girlfriends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we get started? We... Let's do it. Yeah. Everybody remember to wish Benny a happy birthday, and this is the episode two of Tomb of Annihilation for D&D Dragon Friends. Yeah, boy. Bye. 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 Do a pants free one. That'd be funny. <laughs> we all stand It'll up at the end. Be a cheeky reveal. Yeah, cheeky reveal at the end. Yeah. We all stand up and walk away. We all got uh, our bums cut out. I feel like this is something we could go in from, like <laughs> like on a podcast. You just start riffing and then the interviewer just presses record. Hello so. and welcome to this, the second ever Tomb of Annihilation stream for us, the Dragon Friends, and the first stream that we've ever done ourselves on our camera set up above a pub in Australia. Yes. Yeah. We're here. We're live. We are on Twitch. We're in the future. We're in the More the than just voices. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Forgot to use thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. This is the first of what is going to be 12 Tomb of Annihilation themed Dragon Friends <laughs> streams. Um, if you haven't already, you should p hit pause right now. Go and check the VODs of episode one, which we did in Seattle. How good was Seattle? Yep. And those VODs, Very the nice link city. is just there. We can do that, right? No. <laughs> the link is just there. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I'm absolutely yeah. not editing. There. There's no way I'm it's editing there. this. This is goes no, out but can live. No, but can we just do it? Yeah, but when it does, can we just add it as a comment or something? The link, yeah. the link is being posted by Dave in chat now. Future Dave. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, Wait, excellent. Wow. So... <laughs> well, let's just let's get straight into it because we've only got two hours to go. So, this is episode two of Tomb of Annihilation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Benny, give me a chord. Uh, what you follow me. You always say this. You yeah, follow me. Yeah, what happened in the last one? The last oh. episode, um, we did the. They went. Um, on Janus Mir sent them into the jungles of Chult to find some lathic turtle dyes. Jungle. Go All right. Yep. Great. Go. Cool. The heat of the hot Chulton dry season comes slick and quick in the morning, your tent becoming almost unbearably muggy before even the light of the sun has pierced the jungle's dense canopy. By, sorry, just, I'm sorry to pull you up so quickly, but by unbearably muggy, mm. do you mean 
a temperature thing or do you mean it's full of mugs? <laughs> <laughs> of, of all the things. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, how you start? Uh, um, You're not sorry to no, have I'm pulled him up that <laughs> early. <laughs> I'm actually, you know, I think I'm going to use this opportunity to actually say that I feel like sometimes mm. you, and I have been known in the past, in the podcast, to occasionally say things that are not correct. <laughs> yeah. And I feel like at the moment you are hoping that that's going to happen <laughs> and trying to preempt it with some bullshit. Okay. Okay. okay no, what do you I'm think? just, I'm sorry that I'm trying to be, so just, that's it. It's, it's a temperature thing. You make a little note of that. It's a, okay? tempor- it's a temperature we thing. It's, um, it's actually humidity, Ben. It's um, not temperature. That's true. It's we, humidity. Humidity thing. we introduced ourselves in episode one, I think. For okay, anybody that's sure. just joining in and is baffled. That's Ben. <laughs> that's Ben, yeah. Right. He plays the NPCs. Uh, this is Alex, who plays the half-orc. Filge, Baston, the handsome man, played by Eden Lacey, and Simon, who Hello. plays Bobby, our halfling rogue. Now, yes, your tent becoming almost uh, unbearably... Um, I f- do music, I'm Benny. He and did say your name before. Yeah, I feel like everybody got a better intro than me, though. I'm sorry. Yeah. And on <laughs> the on the ivory keys with the skills and music to please, it is the dulcet tones of Mr. Benny Davis. Yes, they yeah, are real yeah. ivory. No, he is a monster. No, don't, <laughs> draw, don't draw so much attention. Don't to me, ask though. what I don't the like joy. Glug <laughs> <laughs> glug. I'm glad to see that we are as on track as we were in episode one. Um, the heat of the hot Chilton dry season comes in slick and quick as your tent slowly fills up with ceramic mugs before even the, <laughs> the light of the sun. Has pierced oh, this is unbearable. The jungle's <laughs> dense canopy. The dragon friends awaken to find themselves in the strange same tent that they bedded down in, doubtlessly scavenged from some poor Chilton explorers by the Batiri Goblin tribe that are now your hosts. The Biting Ant tribe have so far treated you well, far better, in fact, than any of you expected, and their wizened matriarch Bab- Baba Striggy seems to consider all of you more of an amusement than a threat. This is good. Now, as your guide, Sir Grimsby Davenport warned you, the Batiri Goblins are famed for their sadistic and inventive ways of ending life. And with your supplies gone, now does not feel a good time to be making new enemies. So most of you get a good night's rest and can regain a hit die each. Um, Not you, Bobby, however, because you stayed up all night to keep an eye on Sir Grimsby, who sleeps like an angel uh, and snores like a wood chipper. It does mean, um, however, that you're the first one. And Frizo left in the middle of the night to go and study his spell books by the light of the fires of the War Shrine. Your being awake means that you are the first one to realize as dawn slowly breaks that Frizo has not returned. Um, I'm not surprised, <laughs> <laughs> frankly. Um, it, it, it seems unremarkable to me that he's off doing his own thing. It's um, certainly part of a pattern. Yeah. Maybe uh, it's, it's frankly, I'm relieved. I'll be honest. Maybe it's because um, of all the mugs. No? <laughs> We're going to keep doing that? <laughs> no, I, that's it. I always like to really kill a joke. <laughs> really just to like... Just drive it into the ground. <laughs> Pound it into the ground. Wait, so he's gone. Wait, well, Baston's still sleeping. Um, yeah. You're all asleep except for Bobby. <laughs> and so what, 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 what's happening in the camp? Are people? Is, am I the only one? It seems actually oddly quiet. Aside from the, you know the noises of the insects and the birds, and the snoring. And, well, yes. The, the snore, 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 snore. There's a bit of that, um, but you know it's a jungle, so there, it's there's noise, but there's not noise of activity outside. Okay. Well, I think while everyone's asleep, I'll take the opportunity to like scout around and have a look at um, the, the surrounds that maybe I couldn't see in the dark. Okay. The previous cool. Night. So you're leaving the tent. Yep. Okay. The first thing that you notice when you um, pop your cute little halfling head outside of that tent flap is that the camp seems to have been struck. Uh, it's abandoned. The canopy um, sort of platform that is suspended amongst the trees that your tent is on is still there, but it is bare. Even the shrine of Magubliet has absconded along with all of the goblins. It's as if they were never there. Huh. Except for a small table. You can see at the center of the platform, which has what looks like some food laid out to it, and a figure chained to the bench. And who's that figure? It's a goblin in wretched clothes. Oh, Gribbets. <laughs> <laughs> um, Oi, Gribbets. Oh. Oi. Yeah, uh, good morning. This is nice. Sorry, were you asleep? Yes. I was I was actually having a really nice little snooze. He little was. He looked really happy. I was, I, was, I was having a wonderful dream. What were you dreaming about? I was dreaming I was dead. <laughs> 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 um, I, I stick my head back in the tent. I was like, hey, guys, I forgot Gribbets is here. <laughs> That could be enough to wake you all up. Oh. What that little weirdo doing? The little... What? Uh, 
He's made oh. us breakfast, guys. Let's go and check it out. Hooray for Yay! breakfast. Buffet breakfast. And I storm out the out the tent Not flap. Even, none of you are even getting dressed. You just... We just slept in our clothes. Yeah, didn't we sleep in our clothes? Oh, that's right. You, yeah, you guys don't have full armor. You still only have, like, basically... Chilton Did silks. Don't we have wearing. midriffs? Didn't we all put oh, midriffs yeah, we on yeah. last yeah. Baston's yeah. really yeah. embracing the temperate weather that he's never experienced before mm -hmm. and just wearing his little Coming as, as he does from like the cold mountains. Exactly. Barovia. He's like, okay. oh, this is just, it's a dream. So I have, I have it's a like being in a warm bathtub all the time. I have a question. <laughs> Made of your own sweat. Is Baston, when he gets like a bit of sun, does he like go delightfully olive or is he going to get like a bit sort of pink great question I think he is actually as the handsome man that he is he is becomes unfairly tan yes right? ah. he's yes instantly ah. has acclimatized oh. himself to the sun what oh. about half orcs how do they go with the old SPF um I don't know do you practice that kind of um, solar protection. Oh, can Phil please have a little bucket hat? <laughs> 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 yeah, you've made yourself one out of banana fronds. And uh, maybe a little zinc on your nose. <laughs> yeah, Phil, you sun safe. All right. All right. Definitely you, sun safe. Using yeah, orcish um, unguents that you know, you've put a little pink stripe over your nose. Oh, goody. That everybody else has been too polite to mention. So you guys wake up and you make your way out to the table um, where Gribbets is... Weeping. Um, where did everyone go? Oh, tuck in, guys. Have a, have a lovely little have a have a croissant. Have a little croissant. Where me breakfast? There is, there is fruit. <laughs> uh, there is some meat, and there is what looks like um, cicadas and insects on sticks. Laid that's out. that's what I call a croissant. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, I guess Baston will try an insect. Let's eat an insect. It's very crunchy and quite oh. tasty. Mm. Surprisingly good. I pick them up in my knuckles, so I've got like five. And then I, I like go eat them one at a time. Like hop, 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 hop. <laughs> oh, I can do actions now because we're on stream. You can. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Finally, what everybody's missing so much. Wait, <laughs> but all of the all of the goblins are gone. And, yeah, they're and very freezer. much gone. Very, very much gone. Where did they go? Oh, I couldn't, couldn't rightly tell you. I was asleep for a bit. And um, they chained me to the table and uh, yeah, they, they basically took off. Did they look scared? No, no, no. It's just sort of the, the thing they do, really. Sort of left me. How long have you been with them? Oh, it's hard to tell. Maybe about a year or so. And they've just left you behind. Do they well, it's not actually quite a simple set. <laughs> you make it sound a bit insulting. No, what's happened is, uh, I don't know how much you guys know about the... Um, the biting ant tribe, but culturally what happens is when they meet a new tribe, and in this case they thought that you guys were a new tribe, um, they either go to war with the tribe uh, or they do something else. And the great news is they've decided not to go to war with you. Um, but basically they exchange gifts of equal worth. And so um, <laughs> I'm your gift. Uh, whoopee. And um, the, uh, the, the gift that they took, oh, I should have opened with this, is Frizo. So, um, oh. we've been robbed. <laughs> we have been robbed. Oh, guys, 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 guys. Robbed is a very strong word. Maybe this has been a fair exchange. Mm. 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 He goes on to tell you that uh, they have taken Frizo um, and they plan to gift him onwards as an offering to their war god, uh, Magubliet. In fact, uh, he uses a strange word. He says that they plan to exalt Frizo for Magubliet. Mm. Exalt. exalt him. Mm. That sounds like something Frizo would be into. Yeah, he would. He would definitely be into that. He'd be happy. What, should we go watch? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, let's go watch. So Grimsy, can, so Grimsy Davenport... Um, oh, he would know that word, yeah, actually. Yeah, so he's wearing, by the way, like um, those like long johns with like a butt flap. Um, <laughs> like he packed pajamas. He packed winter pajamas. He packed winter pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a yeah. onesie. Has he yeah. got a nightcap? He's got a big nightcap on. Has he got a long candle? He's, yes, he does. <laughs> like, he's holding it out like this. He's like, hello, chaps. Um... Oh, look at this. Everybody's gone. Oh, yes, that'd be right. They sort of take off, don't they? Anyway, I couldn't help but hear the wretched little fellow say exalt. Uh, now, that's a funny little quirk of the old um, biting ant tongue, isn't it? And uh, Gribbets is like, yeah, I don't care. I don't really, I don't give, I don't give a shit. <laughs> Your two NPCs don't like each other. No, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll never talk again. It's like, curious thing, and I'm a bit of an amateur linguist myself, a curious thing, the word exalt uh, in this particular tug is, 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 uh, is a bit of a homophone or homonym. I can't quite remember. I'm drunk. <laughs> anyway, basically... It's it six in the morning. 
Basically, it can mean one of two things. Uh, it can either mean um, revere as a god, Ooh. or it can mean sacrifice to wow. death. Um, it's all context dependent. That's one of the wonderful things about this language. Also, they don't have a word for butt. <laughs> really? <laughs> nope. What they say when they need poo? They say, I'm going to go do a poo. <laughs> Much as you would. <laughs> <laughs> what if they Wait, do you say, I'm going to go do a poo out my butt? <laughs> what, 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 they Speaking what, if they of what if they have an itch on their butt? Me what going to do poo out of me butt. <laughs> and I um, I walk a distance away, but not far enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so while uh, Phil voids herself, um, what are you going to do? Are you going to take gribbets? Are you going to take your gift? Yeah, well, maybe we can trade them back. Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, that's good. Maybe we could... Uh, I yell this out from my squatting <laughs> position. Maybe we could pretty woman grip it. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, what does... What, what cultural reference is Phil... <laughs> Please <making>? finish <laughs> your business <laughs> and then return. Me, me half human. Me have strange remembrance of old mythic tale of working woman who become fancy woman and is exchanged for gift. And how does this apply Can to... Can someone pass me some leaves? <laughs> <laughs> um, um, Gribbit's just like by kind of, um, like, habit. He's like, can you... I can do it if you just unchain me. Wipe a butt? I can hand us some leaves. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> the key okay. has been left just on the far side of the table where Gribbit's can't reach it. Do we... Is Gribbit's going to run away? I don't know. I also feel like Gribbit's has... Sorry, Gribbits, uh, just a sec. Is this is happening in front of me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dragon huddle. Please um, speak up so Filch can hear. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Gribbits has a bad attitude. Yeah, really bad. We better keep him chained up. Yeah. All right. You can definitely hear all of this. Hey, guys. Um, <laughs> couldn't, um, couldn't hear any of that. Um, that said, do you know... I've been thinking, life be bloody in it, you know, as they say. Um, Bless I'm, you. I'm looking forward to uh, getting out there and having an adventure and t you. taking the step of a thousand journeys just with one step. Um, and all, all being the best little goblet I can be is my thinking. And it all starts with just leaving this, <laughs> leaving this table, you know. How can we trust you? I mean, let me put it this way. If I did want to do anything to you, Let's say that in my deep heart of hearts, I just wanted nothing but bad things to come to all of you. What could I do? You could pass me spiky leaves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, this can be the first test. Aren't you might be, uh, you might insult my looks. <laughs> this is becoming a round table. <laughs> <laughs> you could, um, I don't know, murder us. With, with jungle, what? Jungle poisons? <laughs> jungle sticks? Jungle, jungle mud. Okay, so first of all, jungle sticks are just sticks and jungle mud is just mud. Jungle poisons, I haven't been around long enough to know what any of those are. Look, I'm more used to you alive than dead. Do you speak... Uh, do you know what could you do to my dead body? Oh, I don't answer that, please. Actually, <laughs> that'd be awful do to speak about. Do you speak Batiri? Yes. Clearly, he's, he was translating for you last night. <laughs> oh. uh, Sorry, like I'm very so drunk. <laughs> Um, all right. All right. Let's just keep one chain on his wrist. Connected to what? Sure. Connected to <laughs> me. <laughs> okay, so you take the chain, you unlock him from the table, and you chain him to Filge's wrist. Has Filge wiped a bum yet? <laughs> <laughs> no, you got to get me some flat leaves. Okay, I find some leaves. <laughs> okay, just, are they far enough that Filge has to scooch? Do I need to roll for something? Um, actually, before you roll, I've got a little gift for all of you that came from Good Game, who's one of our sponsors. Oh. Which is... Coloured dice for Ooh. all of you. So it's a green dice for you. Goody! Oh, oh very, I very on nice. gets some evil Barovian purple dice. Uh, you With get some gold fun metallic highlights. silver. And oh, they're great. Hing gets plain white. So that's for Hing when he gets here. Yes, yeah, yes. Nice. Okay, nice. Nice. So do I need to roll? Do you want to roll to find a leaf? Yeah. Um, I want to roll to find uh, to find a really good leaf. Okay, so remember, this is important. This is going to okay, set get the tone let's of your get, relationship. Let's get dice cam up. All right. Um, dice cam. Great. Dice what cam. do I need to beat? Sure, you need to beat a DC 12 uh, nature check. All right, here we go. You have plus one to nature. You got Seven. An eight. Seven. You Seven. find a sp or you can find eight. a spiky leaf. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Bring them here. Oh, look. Um... <laughs> What you get? I got some leaves. Reply? I got some... No, look, um, this is really strange, but I couldn't find... Um, these leaves have a, have a texture that um, could be described by some as unpleasant. 
What's Gribbit's wearing? Uh, <laughs> Gribbit is wearing um, sort of rags. Not very many of them, but hmm. they're like made of cloth. Calico. What, what ply rags? Like two ply. Phil just camping after all. <laughs> I, pu- I pull one of the rags off. He's only wearing one rag. I pull off Gribbit's rag and I wipe my butt with it. That was fair. And that then I bury it because I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just look at um, Gribbits and I say... What do you say? Yeah, what do you say in a situation? I'm standing menacingly over him for a while. Oh. And then I go... <laughs> Bad dong. <laughs> <laughs> so I on, say, Bad <laughs> dong, Gribbits. So you take off... My clothes. Yeah. You wipe your ass with my clothes. <laughs> yeah. Bury my clothes, and then which you is look tricky to do because you're on a wooden platform suspended above trees, and then oh, you, you look at my oh. dog and say, "Bad." Just thought we went down to a table where. Yeah, we're we're down. We're I thought down we're in the right? clearing. Uh, look, okay. For the purposes of continuity, let's say you're on the table. Of, uh, you're on the floor. Okay. Okay. Well, this okay, is a on terrible the morning for Gribbits. Can I find something to He's cover up my bad now? dong? <laughs> yeah. some spiky well, leaves. You have some spiky leaves. <laughs> okay, I kind of Adam and Eve that. <laughs> All right, okay. Don't move <laughs> that, too that far. That terrible dong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, well, that's um, certainly 20 minutes of Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> 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 um, uh, so Grimsby goes on to tell you that um, if you were interested in watching Frizo be exalted, um, it's very likely that it would be at one of the greater shrines in the area. And of course, as you remember, Janos Mir gave you that very incomplete map that nevertheless showed Ooh. the areas around the Ataz Rakim and uh, Port Nyanzaran. So he can probably guide you in this small area. Does Frizo have that map? <laughs> no, no, no. So Grimsby has the map. Oh, okay, good. Oh, Mr. Davenport. Yeah. So yeah, just a couple of um, uh, actually, actually, funny coincidence. A couple of sites that uh, would be of especially uh, good interest to the Water Davian Historical Society were I to uh, <coughs> uh, go and make some modest notes upon them. Uh, so I suppose, uh, in, in the interest of uh, uh, synergy, uh, perhaps we could uh, go together. Yep. Well, the yep, question sure. is, do we want to go find Frieza or do we want to go continue on our quest? Well, oh, for the, for the turtle, turtle, the turtle, turtle die. The turtle die. That's right. You won't be able to get back to Waterdeep um, on Janus's ship unless you return within three days now to Port Nyanzaran with a supply of Lathic turtle die. Mm. Do well remembered, uh, Alex. Do we have any leads on that? Well, you remember that the Bateri Goblin were wearing um, feathers that were dyed Lathic blue. So All right. it looks like these goblins know where there is a um, sort of hatch site. Well, it sounds like we need to find the goblins to find the turtles. Yeah. Kill two, t- two turtles with one stone. With one, oh, how do you, t- you have to stack them up. Yeah, also they have shells. It's not a kill, good analogy, Kill, kill one turtle with one turtle. <laughs> it's okay. <You're laughs> kill one turtle with one turtle. <laughs> so you... All right. You, should we do All it? Right. Yes. Okay. So yeah. do we follow their tracks or something? Um, well, you can follow the map if you want. The goblins don't leave much tracks. Remember that you saw them, they sort of stack up amongst themselves and swing through the vines. Oh, yeah, yeah. they swing through the vines. Yes, but there's only one real shrine within um, within walking distance that they possibly went to. All right. Let's do it. So we there's nothing left of this camp for us to collect. Um, there is still. No, that's not true. There is... The war shrine, as I said, has been emptied. The gemstones that were in its eyes, the offerings around it have all disappeared. But the wooden um, effigy of Magubliet is still there and will be there. The the goblins, as they leave outposts all over the jungle, they leave these shrines. I wouldn't mess with that. (laughs) Yeah. And can I just say, Sir Grimsby points to the gemstones missing and he's like, now can I just say, for the bloody record, that I said this would happen. I said that if we didn't <laughs> take them and put them in a proper place, that they'd just bloody Their vanish. rightful owners would take them they'd away. Take, well, you don't know where they've gone. They could have taken them and put them in a hole somewhere. All I'm saying is next time, maybe listen to Earl Grimsby. Mm, me think Frieza probably took them. Ooh, maybe, maybe. Okay, so, he, um, so Grimsby indicates on his map uh, the shrine that he's talking about which is marked um, and it is would have been about 90 minutes two hours by canoe but because your canoes were helpfully destroyed by filge it will probably be the better part of a day's journey uh, through the jungles and it is marked on the map as the shrine 
of the, um, I believe it was called... The Crocodile. The sh- yeah, the House of the Crocodile. Ooh. Sounds friendly. So it's the House of the... Actually, funny story about how that got its name. If ever we have a couple of spare moments to kill. It's, it's a charming tale, but... Uh, the maps and the map <laughs> shows you. <laughs> um, yeah, so that it's basically, as I said, you will be trekking through jungle. There is no roads here. You are deep inside the jungles around the Atars Rakim. So... Um, the possibility of getting lost, getting attacked by animals is quite dangerous. So if you are going to just forge your way through, I need you guys to tell me about how you're going to be traveling, who's taking the lead, who's at the back, that kind of thing. I will fight the vines. So Baston goes first and takes the map Uh, and charges into the jungle. (laughs) Before, before consulting anyone. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this way! <laughs> okay, very quickly, are you following? Uh, yeah, I, I, I... Yeah, so yeah, I'll, I'll take up the back. What are they... <laughs> the rear? The rear? The rear. I'll, I'll take up... Take uh, up. Is that what they say in the army? No, yeah, they the caboose. No, you I'll take, take up, up the rear? No, you take well, up... Well, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> you take up... I mean, they don't even have a word for it in No, you take up... Yeah, the butt, but there's no word for it in this language. <laughs> All right. Yeah, like the rear admiral. You're where the poo comes out. <laughs> yeah, Phil just takes the poo position <laughs> and she's still got Gribbets. As does the Materi Goblin have to call it. Strapped to her and she'll just get Gribbets to walk uh, in front of her. Oh, so she, she, doesn't, she doesn't really need... Gribbets has to do whatever she does. So at this point, you guys have about, I'd say, about three feet of chain between you. Yeah, all right. So Gribbets can walk in front of me. Just. Yeah. Yeah, my, my feet would barely be touching the ground, but I can do it. Yeah. I'd be like this. Yeah, um, that's fine. Uh, how close? How like is, is the uh, very sort of the canopy sort of very like lots of trees close to yeah, each other? Yeah, it'll be like hard to see through it. You, uh, what's really scary about it is that things could be sneaking up on you, and you'd have very poor visibility. I'm gonna go up in the trees. Okay, that's gonna be eyes above the ground using my uh, acrobatic uh, nimbleness as a as oh. a half leg. So you're, you're gonna, gonna like swing, swing the like I'm a monkey? swing. I'm gonna just scamper up branch to branch. I'm gonna brachiate. I think that's what uh, you call swinging from branch to branch. So like is this gonna be a sort of parkour? situation. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you make for me, um, and we'll, I'm just going to make you do this every every sort of hour. No, I, actually, I'm just going to make you do it twice. Okay. So for the first half of the trip, um, I'm just going to call it a, a athletics check or acrobatics, whatever's highest for you. It's a 14 plus uh, <laughs> I was going to say 12, so that's fine. Great. Um, oh, plus 6. All right, so and because you're at the front, I'm going to need you to make a perception check for me. Ooh. I am famously perceptive. Twelve. And I'll have eyes in the sky Plus as well. Plus nothing. So Twelve. That's part are of you, the reason. You, oh, I see. Yeah, but are you going for ahead or are you... I'm you sort of like, like... I'm everywhere. I'm nowhere. I'm okay. above. I'm below. That's, you I'm know not what, below. That's I'm fair. above. Because you are up above, I will give your party a second perception check, which is Bobby's, for as long as he stays which up. Which is a sweet, sweet four. So you can see Very if anything good. less than Baston. Um, can I, as Sir Grimsby... Okay, yep. Um, can I get like a kind of recognising dangerous shit check throughout? Like, you know, bad flowers or uh, oh, uh, yeah, a mean I snake. <laughs> bad flowers. <laughs> you, you actually, s- as a ranger, you have um, yeah, you have advantage to this terrain and you will actually automatically get intelligence checks if people do things that are very dangerous. Okay, good. So, for instance, uh, make a quick check for me. Kabla! <laughs> 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 or just throw a dice at Eden. Do you want to do this one? Yes, thank you. Is he just going to do the same? <laughs> oh. Wait, one more time. Here we go. Here we go. Like we have unlimited dice. Hey, okay, now throw it again. Kabla. One. <laughs> <laughs> All right. For instance, as an example of this, um, because you were momentarily, momentarily distracted, you did not warn um, poor Gribbets of the fact that the spiky um, leaves that he had found have an incredibly... Um, itchy, terrible rash associated with oh, them. Oh, no. no. Well, that's what you get for wiping my clothes now with he's, your bum. Now he's got a bad and itchy dick. Oh. No. Oh, oh, you're the leaves. I'm wearing yeah, them. Yeah. Oh, shit. You should have remembered the old rhyme. Leaves a spike on your bike. <laughs> <laughs> if they're smooth. Um, okay. Get into the groove. <laughs> Um, so you guys don't spot anything that um, interrupts your journey. In fact, you're making good time, and it's the sun is reached its zenith and is beginning to dip. As I need you to make, firstly, another athletics check for me as you get closer to the house. Is he uh, seeing yep. anything? Sixteen. That's so it. You're still what up. house? Yep. Can I take another um, perception check? Um, yes, that means you can take another perception check. Can I perceive two? Uh, six. <laughs> I'm at the front. 
20. Um, I uh, looking sure, at I reckon things. make sure you move them back or people are not going to be able to see them. Um, what do so I perceive, you, Dave? You have a 20. So that means that Baston suddenly with bizarrely mi- sort of a military pr- efficiency that you do not normally expect from him, he suddenly lifts his head in the air and his moustache sort of quivers as he senses something that no one else can see. Oh, he's smelling a carrot. And he puts his hand up because in that moment you realise that the entire procession is about to stumble through a giant spider den that is just ahead of you between you and the house of the crocodile. Now it's about, I'd say, 100 feet away and this you don't seem to have enraged or the spiders even don't even, even noticed you yet but you have noticed them everybody stop i lower myself silently down on a vine so that i'm right down near them that's good right. spiders how far ahead dave about 100 feet 100 feet ahead spiders so so many spiders i think there's a lot there's three spiders there's three <laughs> <laughs> there's far too many i oh god uh, uh. Uh. Pull yourself together, man. They're just eight-legged bastards. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we do? Is that um, loud? How, how loudly were you talking just then, out of curiosity? A bit. <laughs> <laughs> so that um, I was talking a bit too loud <laughs> just now. Hundred feet is a long way away, though. Do we also still have that cube of anse- uh, insect repellent? Um, uh, no, that went down with the canoe. No, I think it, it didn't. No, um, Gribbets. Got some new stuff. Gribbets gave you some new stuff. So. Oh, you do, do actually have, um, it's, yeah, you have Chilton Insect Repellent. Oh, can't uh, think what we'd use that for. <laughs> well, I guess we're going to throw it up by the side <laughs> of the bar. Here's is a fun fact, though, and this isn't D&D. Spiders, spiders aren't insects. Aren't insects. Yeah. They are mammals. <laughs> <laughs> oh, because they have pouches. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. are mammals. Yeah. yeah, they are mammals. Spiders are <laughs> mammals. 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 And mammals. God put them on the earth. <laughs> Mammal. So, um, it's about 100 feet away. They haven't noticed you yet, despite Sir Grimsby being, let's face it, unnecessarily loud. Can we see let's our destination? Let's slather on some of that repellent, I reckon. Uh, you're going to start, are you going to start coating yourself in the yep. spider repellent? Yep. I will. Yep. I'll put some slather on, up. like, in a cool way. Let's, hey all, guys, let's, let's all three of us be like yeah, in a daisy only chain, enough, There's like probably only enough other. repellent for three of the five. Oh. Sorry, we're interrupting Ingrid here, but um, <laughs> do you think I could have some of that? Um, Actually, no, I'll say four of the five of them. Oh, great. Well, then. Um, Mythic spider's already pretty repelled by your bad dong, Gribbets. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sick burn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then we all stand. Uh, so you're us giving three the rest like of it to Sir Grimsby, who uh, refuses it. No, we're, no, us three are using it. Yeah, yep. there's enough for four. And oh. Sir Grimsby doesn't want it. Do you we'll think? save some for next time. <laughs> yeah. So mean to Gribbets. Oh, uh, should I give him some? Give him some. He's all, all right, right. Gribbets, come over here, you little weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm three feet away from you. Can't <laughs> be further. <laughs> and then um, I just like. Sp- Blow up someone to my hand and like wipe it on him with my big paws. Okay, burnt. Thanks, thanks kindly. Mostly on like the front of his face, like black, <laughs> black. Oh, that stings! That stings the old bloody eyeballs. I'll tell <laughs> you, everybody. Um, bit of a PSA: don't get it in the eyes. <laughs> hey, Gribbets. Really no mean. need to put repellent on your on your bad dong. Why yeah. is that? What? I don't know, but you've sort of done this one. <laughs> yeah, but I want you to say it. Because it repels spiders. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when did the dragon friends become this mean? When did mm, a, um, a film Frizo's stop being gone. so sex positive? frizo has gone, so uh, <laughs> someone's got to step up to the plate. <laughs> Baston doesn't you. know Gribbets, does he? No. No. No, no. yeah. Uh. So maybe, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I just point at Gribbets and I say, you got the drift. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so actually that's a good point. No, that's a good point. And so let's say that first Baston is the first to, Baston and Gribbets are the first ones to have it applied. And then Filge and Bobby go away to apply the repellent, leaving Baston alone with Gribbets and a chance to have a little, invi- like a little meeting. Like, so, um. Yeah. Oh, that's stuff from a, f- that's Hey, just hey. Are you okay? Oh, it's just like, it's how they, um. Yeah, um, I'm not okay. On, <laughs> so Baston great. hugs him, hugs him to his bosom, and just goes, "Shh, Big Daddy B's got you." Okay. That, oh, this could be worse. <laughs> this could, this Here could I'm. Be, uh, unfortunately, crying against his repellent sort of smeared chest yep. means uh, a lot of it gets into your eyes. Oh <laughs> yeah. I mean, I am legitimately crying, but there's two kinds of tears. Listen, here. listen. While we're in this embrace. I can't reach a spot in the middle of my back. Can you rub? <laughs> you just rub some repellent in there. I don't want to get any itchy. Oh yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. sure Thanks, sure, buddy. Sure. Hey, um, I just want you to know. Ah, ah. 
No, I don't have anything I want you to know, but uh, I, I feel like we could be close, but we're not yet. But, you know, if you really show me what you got out there, okay, you could be my stable boy or something sure, one day. Sure, that sounds real nice. Great, Thanks. Thanks. good, good. Okay, okay. Well, Isn't I'm he a lawyer? Once again, it's oh, nice you, to you see Bast on rationally accepting limits. Um, <laughs> I am, yeah, I am a, I am a lawyer, but... Um, <laughs> a lawyer. St- stable boy is, 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 is uh, it sounds fun and rustic. <laughs> okay, so um, you have all smeared yourselves and used up all of the insect repellent. And do, yeah. we, do <laughs> and we just walk around the outside of the spider zone. <laughs> do we want to walk? Do we want to fight spiders or do we want to sneak past them? Do they have lots of webbies up? Um, there's webbies. There's definitely How some webbies. How big are webbies. them spiders? Uh, they're about the size <laughs> of the, like a Shetland pony. Oh, oh that's so a pretty big, big spider. Spidey and are they like... Tarantula-esque, or are they like it's very spiky, spindly? Ooh. And they have they have a, a pattern, a sort of a r- iridescent pattern on the backs of their um, thoraxes. Yeah. Um, uh-huh. That looks like a skull. That's fun. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Um, oh, and Sir Grimsby knows some facts about. If them. I may just play the devil's advocate for a moment here, um, the skull pattern cut out of the thorax of one of these things can fetch a pretty penny at a chalk market. Let me just say. What are we talking? Oh, well, uh, it'll be enough for board and lodging for possibly a week for the three of you. Hmm. Also, I just hate bloody spiders. How uh, you kill How you kill them? There's a c- couple of ways. Um, t- stabbing is one. Um, not getting bitten to death. Um, won't kill it, but it means that you don't die, obviously. Um, and, um, of course, there's uh, the, the trickier way. <laughs> Which is? Which is? Um, you, uh, mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> tell us. Yeah, tell us. Tell us. Stop holding us out tell on us. Tell us, Sir Grimsby. Tell if, us. If you <laughs> tell us, <laughs> if you smooch one <laughs> <laughs> just right on its little spider mouth, <laughs> it'll die. <laughs> <laughs> I heard tell in a marketplace. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, is that canon? <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> so what? Are let me make shit up. It's canon. <laughs> That's not how it works. Um, all right, so can we sneak around, or do we have to? Absolutely, fight these you could. You always could sneak around. What weapons do we have? You have not the much. weapons that Davismir gave you. So, um, I got Alex, a sword. Alex is a mole. You have a sword, a long sword. Yeah. Bobby has a short sword, and Sir Grimsby has his elephant gun. Mm-hmm. Do I have a bow and arrow? I just shoot him. Uh, well, we could, but that would destroy um, the, so to speak, merchandise. Oh. Oh. Also, um, I should point out, I think I did last time, that this takes about six minutes to reload. <laughs> so this would be perfect for taking out, say, one spider, or better still, an elephant. Uh, but as it stands... Uh, Look, surely with all this muck on us, we are invincible. Let's take these spiders down, cut their backs off, and get rich trying. Let's go to a spider rodeo, guys. Okay, so you guys are going to attack? Yeah. What's your strategy? Tell me. Um, I'm going to, the the length of vine that I've slid down, I'm going to crawl up and give myself a good sort of coil of of vine on my... You're going to get up into the trees? Yeah. I'm also going to get up into the trees. Great, both of you. Um, And then I'm going to sneak attack the spiders. Athletics or acrobatics check, whatever's highest, DC 14. Can I sneak up into the trees? Oop. I'm going to try. He didn't knock my um, uh, roll into a better roll. Is yep. that allowed? That allowed. That's okay. baby. That's Great. Also, I've got 15. Bochy. Wait, what are you, also, bochy. What are you doing? I'm climbing up into the trees. Okay, you rolled a seven, so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> up I go. So, <laughs> okay, so you guys sprint up like nimble cats into the trees. Filge <laughs> tries to chase you, but forgets at that moment that she has a goblin chained to her hand, <laughs> which is a sort of counterweight, uh, meaning that she falls to the ground, which unfortunately is enough to wake up the spiders who hiss with us and with a preternatural quickness instantly start racing towards you, which will take us into combat. Bobby, you are up in the trees, you are ready, and you have the first So action. are they in a clearing? What's the... Give me the environment. There is a little... Okay, there is a little clearing 100 feet away, some 10 feet wide. Then there is dense jungle canopy all the way towards you and of course there is the sort of five meter wide trail that you've hacked through the jungles behind Have they you. only seen Filge though? They've heard Filge thump to the ground and they are racing towards her. They've already run forward about 30 feet each. So they're 70, no 60 feet each. So they're about 40 feet away from you. That's so fast. They're very fast. How right. many did you say there was? Three. Three of them. Okay, so I tie a length of vine to my short sword 
and I uh, fling it from uh, up top at the at the spider um, that is uh, closest to so, me. So you're gonna throw it 40 feet. <laughs> yeah, I've got gravity on my side. I guess some of it is down downhill. All right. Um, tell you what. Uh, Most of it will be downhill. I feel like this show. Often <laughs> needs Pythagoras. <laughs> 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 like, often like more often than you'd think. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. I'm going to call it um, armor class. We'll say 16 um, to. I want you to beat. I'm going to. Do you know what? I am going to say that it would normally be disadvantaged, but this can be a surprise round because you got up there before they heard, so they don't know you're up there. So we'll neutra- naturalize attack. it out to one attack, but it does count as a surprise. 15, 15 plus. And hits. Ooh. 19 yeah. hits. That's a, a sneak attack for you, so you get to also. Where roll does it hit? Um, it hits them in the juicy middle bits. The butt. Oh, yeah. in the abdomen. Ow, my underside. juicy middle bits. Uh, so <laughs> that's two what of those. the spider says. Um, Dave, the spiders talk now. Okay, do they? No, they don't. Yep, they do. All right, so that's four. Oh, plus, me just heard the spiders right, talk. Six, that's ten. All right, you do 14 points of damage. So one of the spiders actually Beast. sort of screeches. We call that one Dave? Yeah. Just so we can keep track of them? Oh, yeah. sorry, I didn't realize. I forgot that that was your name. <laughs> that is my name. <laughs> Which seems, all right, fine. You killed... Dave the Dave spider. The spider. <laughs> and with his dying breath, he says, My only regret is that I couldn't talk more as a talking spider. Yeah, you killed the only talking spider <laughs> in all of Chul. Um, the other two are normal, boring spiders. <laughs> and the next one up, uh, the spider's gone, Bobby's gone, so the next one up is you, Eden. Um, are they below me? Can I, like, dive, like, fly out of the tree? <laughs> Again, we're not like... sure on the Pythagoras. They are about 20 feet away from you. So let's say if I did grab a vine did a Tarzan swing past them, I could slash at them. Okay, you can make a charge attack, yeah, using a vine. So make an uh, acrobatics check for me. Uh, DC 12, 11 will do it. Yeah, I got my And decks. now just make an attack, but attack. you can do it with advantage because you're charging. Uh, so I get two, d- two D12? Two D12. Yep, and you do the highest. Uh, eight plus five oh. is An eight and a three, neither, neither of them hit. Oh. So you, you make a heroic um, charging sound. Oh, which becomes confused as you go past them. Oh, <laughs> hey. <laughs> you do like Hello. A- <laughs> uh, however, you find yourself on the far side in the clearing. Okay. Um, so you are past I'm the spiders. behind them. That's right. As I meant to. <laughs> Phil, you're next. No, Grimsby, you're next. Um, All right, you crawly pricks. <laughs> um, can I find like a, a, a branch or something? Uh, yeah, you can because you did not spend any of this time loading your rifle. Nope. So <laughs> didn't yeah. think it'd come to this. All right, you find a branch. Okay, great. I uh, which one's closer to me? Uh, they're both forty feet away. Dave the two okay. or Dave three. I have <laughs> thirty feet. Dave, Dave two. I have thirty feet in speed. Yep. S- would, that S- take, would that take up my entire turn? Um, it, you will, it will. But if you run, you can go at sixty feet. Okay. Can I run and hit him? Um. Oh, I see what you're saying. Um. No, you can't. But you can delay your action until they're thirty feet away. I will do so. I, but, but, I'm, but I'm but I'm in the defensive stance with the. Yep, you picked it up. You're ready. I get yep. it. Uh, Filge. All right. I grab my maul and I give it to Gribbets and I say, "Hold this!" And then I'm it's like, "Sorry, no, no." Gribbets, make a strength check. Uh, can um, you hang on to it? Yeah, okay. It's it's a it's a half orc's maul, so we will just call it um, roll fifteen. Yay! Yeah, 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 well done, Slugger. This All is right. a great moment for Grimmett. <laughs> yeah, you hold on to them all. And, and oh, by the way, as he's holding on to it, he makes eye contact with Baston, and he's like, and Baston gives yes. Baston does not notice because he has swung oh. at a <laughs> oh, nice moment. All right. And then I pick up Gribbets and I race towards the spiders. <laughs> Gribbets gives a 10-foot reach. Sure. Okay, I'm very happy with this. <laughs> and, I, and I throw Gribbets at the spiders. You can swing, and I gri- you can swing Gribbets. I swing Gribbets, yeah. All right, so, yeah, because, so I'm like swinging, because yeah, you are holding a goblet. So he's three feet. Uh, three feet chain. of chain, and he's probably three feet tall, so that's yeah. six feet of reach for yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and the mall. Yeah, yeah, I'm going, I said right I'm, that's ten feet reach. <laughs> ten feet reach. Wow. So what that means <laughs> is that you are, you are wielding, only because he passed his strength check, you are wielding a improvised morning star. Very good. <laughs> yeah, Gribbon um, star. All right. Hey, you, I'm a morning star. <laughs> are you uh, getting angry at all, or are you... I'm really angry now that you've No, I'm it. sick of this. You always cheat on your rage. <laughs> what are you angry yeah. about? I'm angry that I wasn't given the correct toilet paper. I'm angry at Gribbit's 
Still. Being angry at Gribbets uh, works for me. So oh you go God. into a rage. Oh, how can There are no bloody standards anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Which means you get um, advantage, as you know. And All right, I'm swirling Gribbets around my head. Yep. The and I say, swing for your life, AC Gribbets. 13. And 16 will do it. 16. You. Well done. Okay, so you hit him. <laughs> I guess we've got to look up Morningstar now because it's not a weapon you had. <laughs> uh, we'll say it's D10 for this one, which is 5 plus 4. You do 9 points of damage. So white To Dave 2 or Dave 3? To Dave 2. Um, so a kind of awful white insecty sort of... Um, no. <laughs> uh, a sort of a, a dark viscous black uh, sort of liquid comes out of its segments um, and it screeches at you as it falls down and it looks like one of its legs is broken. Can I say, um, uh, so Grimsby says, um, um, oh God, fun fact about spiders, <laughs> that's their cum. <laughs> and the next one up is the spiders, <laughs> the first of which does... The first spider, um, I hate you, um, is is actually so hurt that it has disadvantage because you've, you've hurt its leg and it misses you, Filch. The other one spins around and goes at you, Baston, um, and it does a leap attack at you. And I say, stop! Which it rolls a 20. Oh, so, shit. Um, I'm afraid to say that it does not stop. In fact, oh, no. it's not good for it's you. Just the non-injured one, right? Yeah, and it's l like a champ. It sinks its teeth into you. It does, at this point, 12 points of damage to no! you straight away. But now I need you to make a constitution save, DC 13. No worries. I'll do it. Whoop, whoop. It's seven. a seven, I baby. didn't do it. <laughs> 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 All right. And you start shivering um, uncontrollably. Oh, no. Oh, no. You've you got so much spider cum in you right oh. now. <laughs> No, hang on. You start to shiver, but at that point, the insecticide that you've already got all over yeah. you, you feel it sort of soothe the pain, uh -huh. and you're fine. So what? the sure poison also that upsets the spider. They're too big. They're not like the little centipedes you guys fought, yeah. but it does seem to counteract their poison completely. Okay. Handy. They're not repelled by the uh, the ointment. It seems to really actually the one that has now touched I I you, Baston, yeah. seems to be having like a reaction. Likewise, the one that was yeah. attacked yeah. Like, eh. by Gribbets yeah. because Gribbets was coated in it yeah. is also the one that was having disadvantage. So yeah, they both now seem affected by it. That's a good uh. point. All right. Sounds like we got to smooch some spiders. <laughs> <laughs> Um, fast on, you're next. The chapstick on, no, boys. Simon, Simon, you're next. <laughs> okay, um, so um, with the my short sword embedded into the the body of the spider, um, I slide down. I do a, uh, a, um, a cunning action. I make a dash. Yep. So I slide down into the clearing to the ground. How far away is my dead spider from the other spiders? Now? Um, so that yeah, you you can use your dash to get all the way down to the ground for free. Yep. And you're now down next to your sword. Yep. So I take that. Yep. And how, how far away are the other spiders? Oh, them? very close to each other. Very close. Um, so it's one. The one well, that's actually, the one that no, sorry, the one that Phil just fighting is very close. The other one has gone to where Baston is, about twenty feet away. Okay. Um, so I guess I'll go for the closest one, mm -hmm. and I'll uh, leap at it and start stabbing it in the back. Great, attack it. Wait, um, not its back, not its valuable back. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a fifteen. 15. That'll do it. Yep. And uh, you do your normal short sword. Um, so yeah, D6 plus no, just one of them. Oh, just one. Um, so let's do great. Three. That's enough. Okay, so seven points of damage, and it gets goes down. So you have killed two spiders, Bobby. Whoa, the Bobby, one the left that I can layer. kill. And now the next one up is you, Baston. All right, I want to cut its face off. Okay, I'm real mad. But I just killed your spider. His... Did you kill my spider? You know. No, 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 no. Your Baston's is still there. Oh, sorry. All right, I'm gonna cut his face off. Fifteen. All right, that'll do it. I think it's a fifteen. It yeah, it is a fifteen. Yep. And I can do D eight plus all my manly strength. Seven damage. Seven damage. Okay, it's hurt, um, but it's still there. Grimsby. Um, uh, he. How how close is he to the spider now? Uh, he's still about forty feet away. Forty feet away. Oh, no, you, you charged at one of them, didn't you? No, I just readied myself. Oh, sorry. Um, no, no. Sorry. Actually, we'll say that yours yours triggers now when he attacks Baston, so you can go right now. Okay, great. Um. He uh, has a stick still. He doesn't have much else. Yep. Um, and he goes, uh, Oi! Say hello to Spider Satan for me! Um, when And then he stops, like, because when you go to hell, Spider Hell, um, say hello. To, I, don't, I don't know if it's regular hell or um, if, there's a, if there's a specific 
um, Satan four spiders. A turn of six seconds. Keep going. Uh, but anyway, ba ba, and he um, hits him with a um, with a stick. Excellent. All right. Quickly make your attack. Seven. 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 All right, great. So that was your failed turn, which we missed out of sequence. Now it's your go again. So okay. obviously, <laughs> even though it's happening instantly for you, he's had a whole round to think of the next part of this uh, insult. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, look, I've given it some thought, and um, I, I, I'm rather ag- agnostic about the whole thing. I don't mind if you've got a hell or, 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 or gosh, I don't know what sort of um, uh, uh, deity you worship. Um, I'm just going to kill you. And so he picks Qu- up another stick, quick as switch, yeah, and, uh, and 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 hits him again. All right, roll again. C- can you roll for me? <laughs> you don't. Yes. Need, you don't need to roll yours in the dice tray. It's fine. Two. I don't. <laughs> think, <laughs> you, don't you don't want me to roll for you. Here. Filch, just you're throw up. this one in. No, that's okay. I I, I accept that. Oh, I just I like the wicked keeping aspect of it. <laughs> <laughs> Filch, you're up. Um, Filch is just gonna keep on using her Grubit star. Yeah, she's still A very angry. Grubit star. And am I still in a rage? Yep. So you're making you're gonna make an attack? Yeah. All right. You attack the spider. I'm gonna run up. Oh, I know. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run and then slide, and then I'm gonna say hammer up, Gribbets, and then ha- and Gribbets is gonna like hammer its underbelly as I slide underneath it. Okay. Very tricky move. Uh, Gribbets, make a um, strength check for me. DC 15. Right. The slippery insecticide all over your fingers causes you to slip. The mall, the mall clatters into the jungle. Um, which but I'm still doing my move, right? You are. You're attacking with disadvantage with rage, so it's just one dice. So just I'm covered. I'm covered. Now you are attacking with gribbets. I'm covered in insecticide, so I'm using my body. You're using gribbets' body. Yeah, because I, I now don't have the mall, but I'm still attached to you. Yeah, but we're both gonna slide under the spider. Gribbets, then me, both of us slathered in repellent on its small, its uh, soft underbelly. You Fine. Know where the, I'm going. the key point you know is gribbets it? first. All right, Gribbit's first. That's an 18, 18 baby. Right. Gribbit's body connects with a wet thuck um, and does six plus four is 10 points of damage to the spider, killing the spider, and the spider does seven points of damage to Gribbit's. Uh, how? Uh, with its because body. You, you, you hit the spider with Gribbit's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Thing called friction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the spider goes down, screeches, and you have defeated the spiders. And Woo-hoo. congratulations, Great. Ribbits, you are in a lot of pain. Yeah. And as you look through the nests, you guys find some spider eggs, um, and you're able to extract the venom glands that were referenced by Sir Grimsby, which you guys can take with you, presumably. I also oh. talk about the the, the, the design on their back that you can cut out and sell. As so that's where that is actually right. the, the, gland. the yeah. gland is underneath yeah. that. Oh. Um, also, Bobby, you find um, wrapped up a inside one of the sort of the cocoons. Um, or sort of the embalmed victims of the spiders, there is a body of a Chilton hunter. And that hunter has a still working short bow um, and what looks like a bunch of arrows. Not many, about six arrows. How big is this hunter? Um, he's small. He's the, like Bobby can operate I it. take his clothes. <laughs> as, yeah, okay. as, as Sir Grimsby? <laughs> 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 no, Gribbits, Gribbits gets a new set of clothes. Right, Gribbits, go right, Gribbits. Gribbits, yeah, treat go on, yourself. Gribbits. <laughs> um, so I get two of those um, death's head sacks. Yep. Um, right, right, mark them down. You get two because you killed them. So I killed two. And I get, uh, oh no, I guess Gribbit gets one. <laughs> is yeah. That, okay, so fair. Gribbits, Gribbits, Gribbits is allowed to Best handle fair. money. Yeah, Gribbits, Gribbits walks well. over to, to Filge with like the sack and, she, and he's like, well, I guess you'll be wanting this. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Baston takes it and put it no, in. No, right, Baston, you have one voice note. Is I um, I cuff uh, Baston. Okay, you, you're gonna have to uncuff one of the two of you to do that. No, no, like I cuff, like you know, oh, like right. a, ah. that. So I like, like give a him a, a whack across the face. Ouch! And I say, give the goblin his treasure. What? Oh, oh, now you're friends with him? What? You were like being so mean. Me you a warrior. Me respect the rules of law. You said he had a I bad mean, dong. Wa- wa- <laughs> what is that about? He does a bad dong, but he's still good morning star. <laughs> All right. And he I did give do it, a good and job. And I give it back to Gribbit. Um, the spiders themselves, yep. um, do they have like big fangs? Or you said they were quite spiky. Can I weaponize a part of a sp- the spider's well, body? Well, to be honest, you have the poison gland, which instead of selling, you could obviously dip like your if arrows. Ha- if I hacked off like one segment of the leg, is that like a real spiky like stick? It's much harder to use than the short sword you have. Okay. But mm. but as I said, this the toxins in the sack 
are functional. If you're happy to burst to it open, know. which means that it won't be able to be sold, you could, for instance, um, coat you know, your arrows in it before it evaporated. Um, something like that. Um, is there w- are there a lot of webs around? Yeah. Can we pull um, some spiderweb out of its butt and just coil it? <laughs> like oh, yeah, <laughs> like, like out rope? of a tape measure. <laughs> okay, yeah. You know what? You pull out of one of the spiders enough um, spider silk to make a equivalent of a 30-foot rope. Nice. Oh, can we do that over each like of the spiders? I would like a rope too, please. Only one of, only one oh, of them. shotgun. Only one of them has it a, a functional No, it wasn't. Spinneret. I started it and then you oh, stole it. Oh, did we ruin it. the other butts? I said yeah, they, they were ruined in the fight. All right, so I got 30... Meters or foot? Of spider butt rope, yep. 30 uh, meters or feet? 30 feet. That was one of Russell Crowe's weirder bands, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Australian joke. Um, <laughs> all right, so you guys, as, as you pick yourselves up and lick your wounds, uh, there <laughs> is... <laughs> there ah, it tastes like repellent. <laughs> there is not <laughs> long <laughs> more for you to go for already. You can see through the jungle um, the d- dark shape that seems to suggest a ra- rugged sort of mountain top figure, an effigy reaching out in the jungle, calling towards you that could only be the house of the crocodile, now only a short journey away, and when we come back, we will be ready with part two of episode two of this Tomb of Annihilation, for, run by us, we, <laughs> <laughs> who are the dragon. The dragon. Thank you very much. Uh, so, soon. um... We are going to go downstairs to the pub and... We're going to have a drink. And, ha- ...and get a beer and bring it back up here. But for you, no time is going to pass at all. You it's, won't even hear this. science I'll, fiction. I'll edit this out, so even this will be uh, good. No, don't I'm edit be- this I'm out. betting. I'm betting, I'm betting this is nothing. staying. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah me too. Um, um, it's a bit of cheeky banter. Yeah, yeah when, when you say you'll edit it, you mean I'll edit yeah, it. Yeah, I mean you. Ben yeah. will take no, care I'm, of it. I'm, no. I thought you were... Oh, are you editing it? Yeah. So we will see you in no time at all, but for us, a week is going to pass. <laughs> and guys, uh, let's all magic ourselves away. One, two, two three. three. Whoa! Oh. Look at that. It's I got a beer. Welcome back to Dragon Friends. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope in that edit. I hope in that edit I've got the same surly expression. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone will move except for Benny. <laughs> <laughs> just be there like. Um, so, by the way, we are now, uh, at least some of us, uh, we haven't worked out who's watching this along with you right now. It's future us. Uh, it's not us now. We all have long grey beards. <laughs> <laughs> and we are in the comments. We recorded this a hundred <laughs> years yeah. ago. Um, we are in the comments right down there. So, if you want to ask us questions or say hi or say something uh, nice. And now you that you're saying that now, you're going to then respond to yourself. That's right, Ben. Actually, <laughs> I yeah, am. Yeah. Well, have a little conversation with yourself. Uh, hey, Ben, how was your Friday? Oh, yeah, did you end up seeing um, Baby Driver? <laughs> oh, that's good either way. <laughs> See, the funny thing about that joke is that Ben doesn't know about the two-minute Twitch delay. So <laughs> the stinking heat. But he will <laughs> when he's riding back. In the future. Future long beard. Because oh he was already <laughs> here for that. <laughs> <laughs> right. The stinking heat of the jungle uh, beats down <laughs> on you and the filthy repellent that coats each of your skins does little to allow your sweat to assuage you from the heat of the now uh, ri- um, full jungle sun. The dragon friends are f- on their way to the house of the crocodile. <laughs> what? 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 The full Do you want to do it? Yeah. The full jungle sun. Yeah, full jungle sun. That's a thing. The dragon friends are on their way to the house of the crocodile in search of a friend that was gifted against their will to a goblin tribe known as the Biting Ant Tribe. Frizo is there to be exalted, though what that means you have little clue. The gift that you were given instead, a filthy, soiled goblin called Gribbets, um, seems to be forming an attachment to Baston. But he's like, can I say, Griffith is over the moon at the moment. Like, he's really trying to keep it in, but he's like, oh, and, and like talking to Bob, he's like, and then you threw that, that dagger from way up on high and you got him real good. And and, and, and you, when you, when you went, and we hit with the super house, awesome guys. Griffiths, Griffiths. Chill, you need to get some chill, okay? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I whisper in Baston's ear, but loud enough that Gribbets can hear, you get it now, don't <laughs> you? <laughs> yeah. Can I just say, okay. <laughs> if we're going back to get Frizo and Gribbets, yeah. you want to you, you wanna stay with us, we're going to have to work out something. That oh, I never said that. <laughs> 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 but yeah, now that you mentioned it, that would be kind of nice. Would you you, you want to go back to the Batiri? Well... I mean, look, there are pros and cons, right? Like, um... Pros. Name one. 
they don't talk about my dick as much. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> b- by which I mean it all. Um, they've never used my, my, my filthy rags. Filthy though they kept them. Um, <laughs> t- it's toilet paper. Um, but I suppose they also never let me in combat before. And gosh, the thrill of that. They yeah. used you as a weapon. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. They'll call me Gribbets the Weapon. The absolute weapon. The legend. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I think Gribbets has got a cool new nickname. The Weapon. The Weapon. The Weapon. All right, so um, Gribbets and your adventuring party, as you burst through, um, cutting your way through the last of the vines, you find yourself in a clearing where there is a kind of scraggy hilltop. Um, jutted with rocks and carved into it is an ancient effigy that even still you can see obviously deposited there by some ancient tribe human or otherwise it is the figure of a man bent down in impossible weight holding above his shoulders sitting on his shoulders in fact the figure of a grinning crocodile this figure um, actually 80 feet into the air he um, ri- rises above you, and between the man's legs, you can see a um, jutting, you know, carved into the rock, a corridor leading downwards. So it's a, a man giving a crocodile a shoulder ride. Yes, that's correct. Okay. And in fact, Sir Grimsby looks uh, positively excited as he quickly starts sketching it on a piece of paper on Gribbets's back. Yes, this is just absolutely exactly. Do you know what the people at the at the historical society, they are going to quite literally shit their pants when I tell them I found the house of the bloody crocodile. I mean, we've found the house of the bloody crocodiles. Hold still, as he kind of digs a quill into Gribbits' back. <laughs> who lives here? Well, I mean, who lives in the a house? A crocodile, clearly. The house. This of is the, the door to the house of the crocodile. Look, no crocodile actually lives here. It's an ancient chultan. Why would they call it that? Well, actually, there's an interesting story that goes along with that. Oh, <laughs> boy. Do you want to hear the story? You go on. Uh, do you I actually have the story. I have it here, too. Um, I could give you a copy of the story. Uh, uh, I got it here. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, I've, I've, I've paraphrased the boring bits. <laughs> I paraphrased it as well. So that's a um, paraphrase of a paraphrase. There are no story. boring bits. Thank you, Dungeons & Dragons, <laughs> yeah. for having us. Get on around. <laughs> Once upon a time when the world was Copy very young, that. very, very young indeed, Ooh. when the Ooh. world was but a toddler, um, man stood on the riverbank frightened at the banks and a crocodile swam up and said, why are you so frightened? Quite chatty. And the man said, I am frightened to cross the river because so many of your brothers team the water and I know that I'll be eaten for sure and the crocodile thought for a moment and he took out his little stumpy hands and he stroked your version is much longer <laughs> yeah. than my stroked his little stumpy big long chin thinking <laughs> and he said well I tell you what I'll offer you safe passage across my homelands if you offer me a favour and the man said, well, of course, didn't say anything more than that, which is odd. You'd negotiate terms beforehand, surely, but he didn't. And he got safe passage all the way across the river. And at the end of his journey, the man said, all right, what do you want? Again, should have happened before, didn't. <laughs> the crocodile said, well, now that you mention it, mm-hmm. as I stand on the banks of this river looking at your world, I'm afraid to cross it. Will you offer me safe passage? all the way across your world and the man knew then that he had been tricked because the, obviously his world's bigger than the river and carrying that it would have taken for air. so for years and years and years the man carried the crocodile across his shoulder across the width and breadth of all of chult and swore to himself and beyond through all the human lands yes Swore <laughs> to himself that he would never make friends of the crocodile again. So it's awkward though. Like he's carrying him around on his back, and he's decided and he's so not cross to be friends the whole time. Uh, which one's the god, the man or the crocodile? Uh, well, this is when this is. They're neither gods. They are man. And oh, crocodile. so they need a special house where the doorways are really tall so <laughs> and shaped like through. a yeah, yeah, like a crocodile. I had them yeah. over for dinner once, and oh, they were knocking stuff down yeah. all over the joint. <laughs> oh, my right. chandelier! You're right. That journey was awkward because the crocodile was just trying to move on. Yeah, he was like, deal's a deal, buddy. Deal's a deal. He's like, I spy with my little... And the guy's <laughs> like, sure, I hate you so much. <laughs> yeah, so that is, the, that is the ancient Chilton proverb of the man and the crocodile. And it is why the man and the crocodile are no longer friends in Chult. 
Uh, the Chilterns actually tell stories like this, that their ways of explaining which animals are dangerous, which plants not to eat. Um, their proverbs uh, basically inform you how to Would you survive. like to hear the proverb of the nasty flower? <laughs> <laughs> Nah. It's much the same. <laughs> just substitute crocodile <laughs> for flower. <laughs> They're all like that. <laughs> How does this fit into the the whole um, use of uh, dinosaurs as a beast of burden in this land? Ah, well, that's a story for another time. <laughs> <laughs> and he closes his sketchbook. You went whole stats. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. So there's the big doorway. Yes. W- with between the man's legs, with the crocodile up there, and that's in a cliff. Yeah, it's cut right into the cliff and it's leading down. No, it's, no, it's not leading down. It's just leading straight through. But is that on the other side of a river? No, no, no. You, it's actually... it's That's the proverb. There's like a marshy almost moat around the hill, but there someone has taken effort to construct a dry sort of promenade that you can walk to the corridor and in fact jutted our sort of rocky outcrops that used to hold torches, though the torches are long since disintegrated. Mm. Um, I'm going to press on the crocodile's eye. The, it's it's Very 80 fine. feet up in the, in the air. Uh, is, is, has the sculptor gone to pains to uh, creating an undergarment for the man whose legs you have to walk under? Ah, that's you'd have to walk through the corridor, I guess, and look up. I guess I'm super curious, and I'm going to do that. You perv. I just want to make sure that he doesn't Don't have a bad... The man. It doesn't have a bad tongue. And then you gribble, Gribbit says maybe too, too loudly because he's a little bit emboldened. He's like... Yeah, imagine looking at somebody's dick and commenting on it. That'd be weird ass. Shut up, bad dong. Okay. <laughs> that his nickname was Weapon. Well, <laughs> some of them stick, some of them don't. It's not up to you. <laughs> okay, so um, you're making your way through, Bobby leading the way. It's very dark. The moment you step out of the sun and into the corridor, almost instantly, the light fades away to almost nothing. Does anyone have dark vision? Can we set up in a Frizo? Yeah, Frizo. Oh, me, Alex. Uh, Filch. <laughs> <laughs> can we set a bit of I water fire? Can I make baby? a torch? Yeah, yeah. Um, Filch, may- however, you do have dark vision. That's correct. You don't need to roll for it. You just have it. Filch, can you see his dong? <laughs> <laughs> I look up between the man's legs. It's just the roof of the corridor. Can I? The yeah, I want to construct, I construct see if a, a torch. Dong. Okay, first of all, you you look up and discover, no, they have not sculpted anatomically the inside of the corridor. Um, well, this is a waste of time, <laughs> and I turn around and go back out. Can That's I, Don. Meanwhile, you are pulling um, out of the jungle some dry wood from yep. up high, yep. and you wrap, I suppose... It's a little bit of, like... Um, you're going to need some cloth. Spider silk? Yeah, you could take Phil's you spider silk. Ask me for some. Go, give us... Just fang us a bit. Oh, uh, give us a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I give him like a foot. Okay, right, that's enough. Wrap it around and then light that on fire. Okay, you, um, do you what's with that? My, with my lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone have a tinderbox? None of you oh, do. Yes, I do. Ah. Okay, because most of you, you lost all your supplies in the canoe crash. In the canoe. So the great canoe debacle. In fact, you guys have no food. You have no water. You've been traveling for a day. But we have poison. No, we, we, just ate, we ate this morning. You ate this morning, but you haven't eaten all day. So if you go to bed without eating, you're going to wake up with a... Real g- cranky. Exhaustion. So, oh, um, what's the point? Baston, yep, you create a torch with the tinderbox, and that will last for about an hour. You guys have one torch. Well, then let's make it. How <laughs> does it look like this? Like, does it, it look like a tunnel that comes out the other side? Any or light it's going down? It's going down. It, no, I'm it, go, so it's it actually going up. It's a huge, oh. big cliff face, and it's going up towards the belly of the crocodile. Ooh. All right, well, I should lead the way because I can see perfectly well. Yeah. And you can just go behind with your torch. Okay. Okay, so you're going to go take through? take up the rear. All right, so... Um, so f- How much does Sir Grimsby know about this? Um, you would know... Th- well, you know the story, and you know of um, enough to know that... Actually, make an intelligence. Make a history check. Oh... Four. Four. You know the stories. So I'm not very good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a couple of things you notice. First of all, um, the walls, uh, there's no cobwebs. It doesn't look like there are spiders in here, but there are vines all the way down the walls. There are intricate carvings all through the floors. They look like they've been ancient people made them, but they were very well made. Um, and actually, can you, because you're going first with your dark vision, make Listen. for me a... Little, um, <coughs> just a perception check, Filge. Yeah. I want to make a DC 12 perception check. No, what is that? Six. Six. Okay, um, and I'll let you, yeah, no, actually, no, all right, you don't actually spot that. But the other thing that everybody spots because it's very noticeable is that it's 
although it's quite cramped, it's only 10 feet wide, it's quite high. They're like These are like 25 feet high ceilings. So, the so it's like, true. it's hmm. kind of big, beautiful, imposing, almost reifenstahl kind of verticality. Um, so... Did I say beautiful Nazis? Is that what I just <laughs> said? <laughs> I mean... No, Rick 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 was, a, Rick was a filmmaker. She was a filmmaker. Yeah. 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 Albert Speer. No, I was Did thinking... Did we all have to study this for the HSC? Yeah, it was so boring. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. I'm a bit older. Why did we have to do him? He had to study the, the First World War because that's when he was born. You guys make your way <laughs> about 20 feet into the corridor and instantly... Oh, we have to study that. Never mind. Instantly, you make your way <laughs> to a ledge um, that is sort of blocking the way and it's about... Oh, I'd say maybe 10, 12 feet high. Enough that it's going to be a bit awkward to scrabble up. I awkwardly scrabble up it. Why don't you just lift some of us shorter people up before you do that? All right. Great. All right. Uh, hey, um, maybe it's time to unsheath the weapon. <laughs> All right, bad dong. Up you get, I say. And I pick him up by his head and I put him on top of my head. Okay, so he's riding on your, on your shoulders? Yeah. And he says, look, I'm a crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> a snappy snap, snap, snap. Okay, yeah, very nice. So it's like a big step? Yeah, it's a big step. It's like a... S- right. Yeah, that's right. All right, so Bass, he, you can just walk off her shoulders onto the step. Onto the yeah, well, I'll, I'll tell you so. what you can see, first of all. You see what is, again, a big 10 foot by 10 foot room. Okay. Um, and oh then there's Christ. an archway leading out. But the light's really low because obviously the torch is down below the ledge and that's all you can see. So I'm on one side of the 10 foot thing and I can see the thing on the other yeah, and I'm on the You can see a 10 foot by 10 foot room yeah. with an archway leading even further in. Um, I yell up, hey, Gribbets. Yeah. You know how me granted you safe passageway to that room? <laughs> I, I suppose, sure, mm. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Now it Filger's turn. Oh, I see. I don't think that worked because you didn't ask me for a favour before it happened. Oh, uh, it's implied. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you... What, what, I can't tell if you're being racist to children's or not. What exactly do you require of me? Give Filge a leg up. Okay, well, I... Sh- Scurry back down here. <laughs> <laughs> it's crocky time. <laughs> um, with, 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 Are you going to really make a goblin pull you up the ledge? I'll give you a leg up. Oh, but what about the... He's got to learn his Chilton lesson. <laughs> Look, that's right. You do have to learn, <laughs> weapon. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I... This is... All right. Yeah, um, I guess that's a DC 18 strength check. <laughs> <laughs> Gets back <laughs> down. Are you saying that you want to crawl madness. on... You want to stand on him to get no, up? No, I'm over assuming there? that you want him to pull you up on the chain. You want no, him to no, come he's down got it. No, he's, he's... I'm the crocodile. Why did you put me up there then? Oh, I changed my mind, didn't I? All right, I, cl- I climb back down. Okay, <laughs> wasting everybody's Two time. Two no, I'm gonna guys. get up. Baston's just gonna get up. Can I? Can you give me a? Can, can I give me a? Uh, yeah, I'm hand. gonna poop Bobby up there. All right, Bobby. Bobby gets pooped up there. Um, and can I climb up? They're just the tall boys. Can alert. I just jump and like? Yeah, uh, DC like Prince D- of Persia. DC 12 athletics check. <laughs> How will you hold your torch? 16. All right, you're up as well, Filge. I, I'm I'm down there, so I'm going to try and boost it. Oh, yeah, I chuck up the torch before you I... You can go. just chuck me up and then pass it to me. Yeah, All pass right. it to Bobby. Boost right. me up, weapon. First, first boost, so boost, boost. That's a 19! Yeah! Um, <laughs> he did it. Improbably. Oh he did it. God. Improbably. He no, wait, no, sorry. It's a nine, it's, yeah, improbably, I guess. With maybe you helping a little bit. Um, no, it's Chulton proverb power. Filge somehow manages to get up with some assistance from Gribbit, still yep. with a lot of adrenaline from the spiders, I guess. Yep, yep. Um, and you are up, and now Gribbit, and then just, I guess, gri- like a three foot of chain and the laws of pulling means that you come up as well. And Gribbit's is just like, did anybody fucking see that? And nobody <laughs> saw that. No Guys, one, quickly, no come look at this. Anything. <laughs> but because you're all looking now that you have the torch, and you're standing at the lip of the ledge, and beyond the room, you can see through the archway what looks like another corridor. So it's it's almost like a really long, slow staircase. <gasps> another with ledge, with corridor. No, no, sorry, another corridor with the ledge at the end. Going up again? Yeah, and this time, the reliefs in the first corridor looked like they were a man crying at the banks of a river, and now the reliefs show a crocodile swimming to meet the man. Oh, so this is like the second bit of the story. Yeah. Oh. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys are going to enter the room? Yep. All right, what's the marching order? Well, I guess me and Bobby were first because we were up there. Yeah. And I guess we started looking around with the torch. So is Grimsby so coming? Is Grimsby b- with us? Baston, you, were f- you came first. Sure, why not? All right, you went first. Yep, Bobby? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, great. Wait, what are we rolling for? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> and then Grimbits. So, wait, Grimsby. Uh, Where's Grimsby? Who's Grimsby? Oh, so Grimsby. <laughs> 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 we can pull him up. Um, oh, hello. He's um, still, he's, still he's at the bottom. No, he is down the bottom, and he is he has made the decision that he is going to try and find anything valuable and steal it. Okay, cool. Okay. So the the uh, at the moment he's just making, I suppose, rubbings of the etchings and stuff. Yeah, exactly. All right, so he's he's not coming. All, All right, right, so then Gribbets, then me. Okay, then Gribbets. Great, great. At the moment Gribbets steps improbably again into the center of the room, you hear a snap, um, and the floor, which was kind of um, all sort of looks like it was covered in kind of weird sort of matted leaves and stuff, break of the tile that was holding the tiles together. The tiles will scatter, and there's a pit underneath the oh tiles. No. Gribbets, quickly make for me an acrobatics check, DC 15. You keep throwing all my dice that way. This one. This one. DC 15. He's Eight a fucking roll! Yes! Okay, and you managed to skip over to the side of the ledge and make it onto the far side, which leaves... Wait, did Gribbets fall in and I didn't? Well, the fact of the matter is you are now going oh, to... Are we still chained? Yes. Yeah. So what you're going to need to immediately make for me <laughs> is a strength check to not be moved. Uh, DC 13. Nine. Plus, uh -oh. plus, plus your strength. Plus four. 13. 13. 13. So you Phew. almost would ma have made it off and you acrobatic nimbly jump to the far ledge when the chain on your hand jerks you back and you bump against the side of the pit. Yep. But you don't pull Filge in because she's just too smart. Uh, so you take two points oh, of damage strong. hitting the mm -hmm. side. How many, how many points do Gribbets have? Um, how many have you taken so far? I've taken seven. So you, you're up to nine. So you've got three hit points left. Okay. Feeling fine. Just remember, guys, uh, Grib Grub not feeling so great. <laughs> not feeling Le super flash. The weapon is dull. <laughs> I uh, could uh, use my famous nickname as a metaphor. You are balancing, now you realise, quite precariously on only about a foot of ground at the top of the ledge. And there's another, there's like a thin walkway around the pit to where, yep. where everybody else is safely standing. But the pit, you know, sort of yawns beneath you. And it looks quite sort of awkward to walk, particularly when you've got a chained sort of halfling who's free-falling in the pit. Um, <laughs> Sorry, a goblin. Okay, well, I I just flick um, Grib Grub up and onto my back. So, uh, so he's not going to unsteady me. He's small, so make an, a strength check for me, but we'll just call it DC 10. 18? Yep, no great. worries. So he gets back onto your, to your back again? Yep, yep. And he's like, did you bloody see how nimble I was? And just I go, shh. Okay. Yep. Um, yep. Be chill. And I chill. start balancing across the, the edge of the ledge. To okay, get great. All right. And I just need you to make for me, this is quite easy. Um, let's just call it a um, DC5. Dexterity? Yeah, dexterity. Uh, uh, t 11. All right. Filge makes it all the way across. Grib Grob stays on the. I'm calling him Grib Grob now. <laughs> stays on the shoulders, and you guys are all in the archway looking towards the next corridor. I just want to say. I feel like it was pretty miraculous that we didn't fall into that pit. <laughs> I feel like uh, you know, you, you know, just some days, just be thankful, you know. <laughs> That's you all. You'd be curious about that pit. Yeah, I thought, wow. Do you want to go down? No, I'm okay. What's in the pit? It yeah, yawns down in darkness. You yeah, what if there's something you nice in the pit? You could throw oh. your only no, Always no, I assume I that there's something bad in the pit. Yeah. I want to spit into it. Could okay. be a foam pit. <laughs> It could be one of those ball hang pits. On, no, no, hang on. Do, the, do it. Do it for me. Okay, Just quietly. And into, I want you into your microphone. Ooh. Did it it's sound like it hit something valuable? <laughs> <laughs> Ding. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay. We keep going. All right. Into the next room. Who's leading? Passed on, naturally. Okay. Can I, um, at this juncture, make a, a teeny little <laughs> suggestion from the weapon here? Uh, g'day, weapon. Um, uh, I feel like the, the, the dexterity and the strength combo that me and Filge are currently doing is great. I love it. It's wicked. We're, we're a team for the ages. who disagree. I guess my query is, do we need to be chained together anymore? Mm. Because as you saw before, it was a bit of a problem when I tried to sort of leap out of the mm. way. Almost set you off balance and wouldn't want to be a liability. Listen, Phil saved your life. No, well, in a way, mm. um, that's not... Okay. You're welcome, All right. say. <laughs> so, Baston, you're leading the way. Uh, really? Yep. That's, that's the end of that. Okay. <laughs> uh, Bobby, do you have any skills to, like, detect traps or anything? 
Um, Are you sneaky you do, like you that? Do. You do. You're actually um, a proficient in um, investigation, so you've, that makes you quite good at searching for traps. Oh, Use your sneaky sure. skills. Can do I also just say to the stream, um, you, you may hear from time to time um, the sound of a plane. Go- we, we, we are right underneath a flight path. Um, and so I imagine it in this case as temple ambiance. Guaranteed they can't hear it though. All right. Well, <laughs> then uh, never mind. Ben will just Ben's just showing off that we're under a flight path. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we uh, have planes in Australia, by the way. We've yeah. had them for about a decade. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. They just pass over, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 They're, they're, they're going kind of somewhere much better. Oh, they're oh, they're they're Indonesia, Antarctica. going to New Zealand. <laughs> yeah. You ever hear a fly of a country? This is fly of a hemisphere. Um, <laughs> all right. Yeah, so go ahead. If you would like to search for traps, I want you to make a little um, perception. Three. <laughs> <laughs> the room is. You'd make a little perception. Yeah. <laughs> the room is not full of traps. Can I make a perception check? No, no, Bobby check. did it. Bobby did it. Well, if Bobby says it's safe, that's good enough for me. <laughs> Baston's going? <laughs> yep. Okay, Baston, as soon as you walk into the oh room, no. um, <laughs> giant scything blades seem to... It's oh. shaped like a crocodile's teeth. They bite through and they instantly scythe towards and you. And I dodge out of the way. <laughs> okay. Because yeah, I'm you did there, sick. What you did there is you finished my sentence for me. <laughs> um, I want you to make a quick dexterity saving throw. <laughs> DC 13. That's that's co- that's cocked. That's definitely cocked. Okay, if you say so. 13. <laughs> Plus 2 is 15. All right. You with you are very very lucky and you managed to dodge the two jagged teeth that were sort of at your neck oh and no. groin height and you skid past them um, and just they they grip your clothes but they miss you yeah. and they stop. They probably would have killed you, but the next two that are aimed towards your t- your stomach and torso rip into you. No, my beautiful skin. You get twelve points of damage. Not more. Oh, yeah. That was gonna, so that's many. Gonna, that was a six and a six. Ugh. How are you? Are you okay? Twenty-three minus twelve. Who knows how I am? <laughs> 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 didn't you get Didn't you get bitten by a spider as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, I did. All right. For twelve. Yeah, that's. Now you know. I'm down to eleven. All right. Well, I'm down to three, but um, <laughs> okay. <I> five. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then the teeth grind themselves back into place as you hear ancient winches sort of seem to click, and then <laughs> fast on you sort of stagger to the end of the room, and the rest of you are still there. Made it. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hey. Uh, Big Daddy B-Boy, because he's getting really confident. Uh, is that okay? Can I call you Big Daddy B-Boy? It seems appropriate. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm about to take this journey, and um, if I could get some pointers to how that could not happen, that would be really good. Well, do? Uh, do just do. I wouldn't. I wouldn't change a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't make mistakes. I say, hey, group, group, me thinking on it. You can go, and I release his chain. Okay. All right. Um, can I make a perception check? Yeah, sure. What are you making it for? <laughs> Just to see what the room's at, because he, he probably stood on something, right? Oh, yeah, you've got a, you have a goblin's... Yeah, okay, sure. A goblin's what? A goblin's, a goblin's what? 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 Bad dog? Great yes. dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's an 11 plus... Uh, two, so 13. Okay. Um, does this Twitch channel have a rating? <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope so. I'm sure it's fine. Don't think about it. So... <laughs> <laughs> Great <laughs> solution, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> you can only really search for things that they can't. One Dong of is Australian that you do for notice um, is you smell in the air um, the kind of sl- curling, slightly acidic scent of um, Batiri incense, which means that Batiri um, holy uh, medicine men have been through this quite recently. Recently enough for it still to be in the air. Okay. Even though it seems quite ancient, you can tell that they've been through here, but that's all you can tell. And yep. we can't smell this? Uh, you don't recognise it. The whole thing smells like weird temple. Okay. I, I'm going to keep this little tidbit to myself. It's All right. fine. Um, but you're, you're still on Filter's shoulders. I'm still on Filter's shoulders. No, but, but I let him go. No, I know, but she's, yeah, you So unlocked. it's his choice. Okay. Um, <laughs> you're doing it by choice now. Gribbit's choice. What do you reckon, guys? You're going to go to the me? you the weapon. Sure, go, go for a, the weapon. All right, I'm going to... So did Baston just make a... Beeline? Like, did he just go straight? He was walking, and then this. The yeah, but did he like from the middle of the room go? The moment oh. he saw the blades, the blades come. First of all, there there are um, carvings through the wall, all through the walls of jagged lines, like crocodiles' laughing mouths. Yeah. That mean that the blades come at you at strange angles. You can't quite tell where they come out. Uh, no, 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 I know. But this I th- is just 
um, Last Crusade, right? This Neil. is the highly <laughs> original adventure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But the first thing is the blade, so just Neil. No, no. Yeah, when Grib you Grob is gonna be Grib Grob because he's used to being um, the penitent man um, <laughs> or go. goblin. Uh, is going to basically commando crawl his way through. Okay, cool. So you make it about halfway through. Oh, the and then I make it the other half. <laughs> <laughs> and the blades start going. So uh-huh. I need you to... So the blades are coming out of the walls on the side? They, But they zigzag. They keep moving up and down. And they this time they're following <laughs> different tra- trajectories. What kind Just of a mechanism like are they attached to? Um, whatever is on the other side like of the wall. Is it swinging? No, no, no. So all you see is the carved line that the blades are coming out So you out know at the end of Last Crusade, <laughs> right? <laughs> 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 when there's these big wheels that... Are, that Come out of the walls at various angles, and there's all the paths that they follow. Right, I hide in, in the, the fridge. DC 13. <laughs> um, DC 13? Yep. That is a. Six. Plus two. That's not gonna. That's 11. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's not. All right. Uh, oh, sorry, that was a nine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it was a nine? No, it's a, nine. It's a six. No, it's a six. it's okay, clearly it's, a six. Oh, okay. it's ma- it really matters. Um, Okay, do you know what I'm going to give you? Is I'm going to give you advantage because you're a goblin and the designers of this weren't expecting people this small. So you get one more roll, uh, which I guess is news for you too, Bobby. Right. (laughs) It's a four. All right, you take um, 11 points of damage. That's that's made me very unwell indeed. In fact, I'm, I'm now... You start dying. Yeah. St- I start dying. So Gribbits so is dying. Gribbits is lying on the floor, slowly dying. Ah oh shit! We need this guy to trade. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I am. Um, I I duck. I I duck through and um, go to grab him and um and, and just drag him to the other side of the room. Um, okay. So I'll give that a. Hang on, hang on. Rolling. No, no, no. The, the blades don't come. Nice. So you're fine. You grab him and you drag him to where Baston is. Oh, I made it, guys. <laughs> It probably. Um, so you have him on the other side, and you can try and stabilize him if you want. Do you have a? Um, what's your medicine? I have. No, I don't have anything. Um, so then, just quickly roll for me. Try and beat DC 15. We could take the clothes off him that he stole from that the one. dead one. I get, one. I get to roll again because I'm a lucky elf. That's true. You do. Uh, and that's a five. All right. Great. <laughs> All right when Grimsby. Uh, so so sorry, not Grimsby. Uh, best on. <laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> Gribbits. Fun hell. Gri- Gribbits. Um, quickly make your first death check for me. Just get Here we go. That's a 19. Okay. okay. Nice. You're, you're fine for now. All right. Filch, you're still on the other side. Oh. Trail and chain. Hey? Yeah, trail, trail and, and chain. chain. Roll and stop. Uh, any buttons over there, boys? Any off buttons? Um, do you want to have a look? You're I'm going to look for an off button. Look around. Uh, but, uh, so Bobby's doing it? No, just one person. I Bobby. 19. 19. Uh, so, Bobby, you can actually see at the end from your perspective um, sort of ancient cables and chains that seem to control it from the the ports that the blades come out of on the wide side. Cables and ports? Okay, so if you've what seen you a t- movie, <laughs> Indiana Jones and the Last <laughs> Crusade. <laughs> it's the same thing. <laughs> he gets there and there's a wheel and he just pulls the chain. If I, jab my, and the, if I jab my sword through one of the links of the chains, will that prevent it from moving up and down and activating the... That you can try. All right, I'll give that a go. All right, so you wedge, you wedge it in. Make a quick strength check for me, DC 10. Right, one. That's a one. That's a you one. get it again because you're a halfling. You get to re-roll once. Lucky like Hobbit roll. Oh, Another one. Two ones. I'll let you do it again. No, you don't get to yep. re-roll well, once. Yeah, they do. It's ones it's on ones on ones. Naturally baby. lucky. It says okay, it right here. So you managed to force what? it through the old rusty chains, Filge. Um, I saunter on through. Cocky. Um, <laughs> at the moment you do, you the blade. You see, hear the rumbling of the chains, and then there is sort of a screech, and the blade scythes out, and then sort of stops just in front of your head. I go, <laughs> nearly got a haircut. Is that what you say? Yep. Okay. You oh, lost. that was very funny. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was because you nearly did. You've, lo- <laughs> you've lost your sword. Just <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bobby's, Bobby cannot, uh, you can't get your sword out, unfortunately. But you guys make it to the other Ooh. end of the room and there's another one of those famous ledges. So we got to climb up again. Is it an absolute ledge? <laughs> <laughs> That's a bloody strange. ledge. <laughs> uh, any any, any, any cool carvings ledge. on it? Um, yeah, yeah, actually, you know, they're they were always on the walls, so you can't see the walls above okay. it. Okay. Okay, so maybe if if Baston uh, on the big ledge just pulls himself up and has a look and puts the torch up there, what's on the walls of that next room? Cool. Uh, DC twelve, DC thirteen, for me. 
14. 14, okay, great. Um, so you make your way up to the room and you can see the figure of a man with a crocodile. It's actually, it's it's almost like a series of reliefs, like it's telling a story. Yeah. And it's a man with a crocodile balanced on his back, dodging left, then right, then left, dodging crocodiles as they swim towards them. Mm. Sorry, no, it's a crocodile with a man on its back. Oh, a crocodile with okay. a man on its back. That's the next one. Maybe it a clue for dodging. Maybe we have um, to dodge. Another thing that you notice when you're up there is that carved on the floor are faces of crocodiles. Um, it's actually a pattern of four by four, and there are four different crocodile faces um, that repeat in random orders on each row. So, you know, you've got snarly crocodile, smiley crocodile, friendly crocodile, and stupid crocodile, and then stupid crocodile, friendly crocodile, smiley crocodile, snarly crocodile. What if we this just... This is like Mario? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was this was a scene in Indiana Jones. Uh, yeah. The Mario Party scene. Maybe you should only tread on the so friendly crocodile's faces. Friendly crocodile faces. Um, do you want to look at the rest mm. of the room, or are you just have a Yeah, what else is in the room? Has somebody carried my body? No, nah, we'll just leave yeah, him. Uh, yeah. I I'm still with you. We haven't. Uh, we're still peeking over the ledge. Okay. No, but he stopped dying, right? Is he? Is he? Uh, well, he's done one death check. No, but he stabilized. He got nineteen. Okay, um, so you guys, so you guys are all getting up. You're gonna jump up because we can't revive Gribbets. Do we just leave him to? If you don't, I'm gonna keep making him make death checks. No, but uh, can we stabilize him, or do we need to bring him with he, us? If he makes three successes before he makes three fails, what's actually he, wrong with him at this stage? He's got a lot of cuts. He's very he's bleeding. He's lost a lot of blood. Um, he's very bleeding. Well, we should um, make a tourniquet out of spiderweb. Let's take his yeah, it's, underpants it's, off him. Uh, do you know what? This <laughs> Turn them into <laughs> tourniquets. Yeah, I'm going to make him make a death check every time you try. You failed. So does okay. anyone else want to try? Let me try. All right. To stabilize ah, him. I'll fix him. DC 15 medicine. What's my medicine? That's a 13. It's a skill, so it's wisdom based. Else? No, I don't have it. Uh, that's a 12. I get a negative. A one more. Death check. You've succeeded the first one. So um, you dice, just need dice, to roll 11 dice, higher. Dice, 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 dice. 17. All right. So that's two successes. Yep. Um... You guys are just going to keep waiting there. Phil, you're going to Every fix one him? of these, by the way, takes 10 minutes. So you've now been in here for 20 minutes. Your torch has 40 more minutes of light. In uh, it. Uh, well, I guess we should stop him from dying. Yeah. You do one. All right, I'll do one. <laughs> That's true. Which is what was happening. Well, look. Um, okay, we'll go forward and we'll try you can and... Just put it, yeah, you can just put him over your shoulders. All right, I'll, I'll chuck him over my shoulders. All right, so... Okay. All right, so he's back. He's back up where he belongs. Um, and Field lifts us up where we belong. <laughs> it's going to be disadvantage. Are you getting up? Are you going to just scramble up by yourself the ledge? That'll yeah, well, normally I'd use gribbets, but that's not really going to work out. That'll be disadvantage for you because it's hard because you're carrying someone. So DC 12, two dice lowest. Uh, oh, four. That's not four. All right, so Six that's, or four. So you're not going to be able to get up by yourself. Um, what are you doing, Bobby? Um, I will get a boost from Baston. I'll give Bobby a leg up. Yep, you get up. Look her and and then I'll and then I'll climb up. Mm-hmm. And then I'll. So you already climbed up. You're fine. Yeah. Twenty. So good. Wow, you achieved the thing you all have already done. Yeah, in a very impressive manner. Um, um I'm gonna chuck. Can I chuck you some spider web rope and you can pull me up? Yeah. Well, if you just give me grivets, then I can pull you up. Does that make sense? Yeah. You'll be unencumbered. Okay. Okay, well, look, you're right. So all of that will work. So with all the time in the world, you guys all get up, and you're now standing on the ledge. Again, only about a, f- a foot before you are on the tiles. And as I said, it's four by four, 16 tiles with four repeating on each row of four different crocodile faces. And beyond it, you can see, um, Baston, because you were up first, quickly make a perception check for yes, me. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Uh, that's enough. Um, you see a ledge with a door above it. And now, unfortunately, you can't see much of the door because of the ledge. You can see the top half of it seems to be covered with the same runes, the same crocodile faces. But you can not You can only see the top. You can't see the bottom row. Is so this on the wall? Sorry. I'm this is on the door at the end above a ledge. So the code to do the floor is on the other door, maybe? But I can only see half of it. Phil has dark vision, so she should. Can, can I you have look a at gander? Um, you, you is it a distance the problem, thing or is no, it the a problem with the bottom of the floor is because it's on the ledge. You can't see it because it's obscured by the ledge. Oh, right. How far away is it? 
it's at the other end of the tiles. How far? But what's the distance? The tiles are about five feet, so it's I guess twenty feet across and twenty feet up. So I guess we're going to need Pythagoras <laughs> theorem. <laughs> <laughs> Could you? I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Suck a Are you drawing a triangle without looking? Um, so what it's if twenty I feet away and it's twelve feet up? Can I stand on Baston's shoulders? Would that fix the Pythagoras? And yeah. then just fall forward. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I yeah, hold on to his calves. If, if, if someone sits on someone's shoulders, you'll be able to see. Oh, oh okay. Oh, well, I've got the dark vision, so I should go on Baston's shoulders. All right. Baston, you have to make a. Because Up you get. Just remember, r- no, remember, no, 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 Gribbets didn't fail this. Yeah, strength. It's 15 for you because you're the same size. 15. I'm strength. I'm quite strong. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 boy, oh, my back. Oh, <laughs> even through the pain grivets, you have a le- momentary moment of consciousness. Yeah, I have a little smile on my face. Could could Ooh. we could we um could we throw the? No, that's not gonna work. An old, like you, I could have given you the injury. torch, couldn't I? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> also, oof, that's not gonna happen again. <laughs> can Ouch. they see? Can they see the f- first bit or the last bit? They c- well, they can see the top three rows, but they can't see the bottom row. Why don't we lift up Bobby, who is the lightest? Oh, yeah, Simon's let's just him it. up. Yeah, it's like this. Oh. And so we can't see that row. That's right, right of course, of, because of yeah. geometry. Because yeah. of Pythagoras. They see all geometry. Oh. Guys, what about my original plan of only standing on the friendly crocodile faces? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I go with that. This I can't really <laughs> work out how this goes. Um, no, but can can I lift Bobby up? Sorry, can I? Is Bob, will Bobby be yeah, tall enough to see? Yeah, yeah, you can lift Bobby. Guys, I don't, Bobby I don't mean to interrupt, but there's legs. a there's a cat in the studio. Oh. Yay. Yay. Come in. Yay, no one can see. Yay, come and hang out. Oh, she's such a good kitty. <laughs> this is our old can diabetic. Push your shirt. <laughs> push your shirt. Shat, can we get a close up on her? Meow meow meow. <laughs> Okay, back to the Dungeons and Nobody oh. cares about Dungeons <laughs> and Dragons. There's a cat. There's a cat. There's a cat. How many other Twitch streams playing D and D have a cat who comes in? Who doesn't want to be on Ben's <laughs> lap? Put her on the couch. Put mm. her on the couch. They Hey. Oh. I'm very allergic to cats. <laughs> oh, don't do this then. No, it's fine. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. So I want this to be a snuff film. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fluff film. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so um, everybody say hi, Gizmo. Hi, Gizmo. hi, Gizmo. Okay, I lift up Bobby and he can see the thing. Yep. Okay, so Bobby, you've got the torch. I guess so. All right, good. You can see the bottom row and you make your own little DC 13 perception check for me. Perceive two. Is that a two? It's a hot two. Hot. Yep. All right, great. Spicy so you two. A, a hot steaming two. <laughs> that said, you can see the bottom row, but the prob- <laughs> the problem is, is that what you see is that it is the same pattern as on the floor. Mm. The bottom row is the closest row. The top row is the furthest row. I have no idea what's going on. So this row I here... I think it's smiley faces. This row here correlates to that row there, right? That's Guys, correct. Let's just walk on smiley faces. Yeah. So, so, but now we've got the whole... So this thing is useless because this is just a reflection of this. No, I think that when we get to the top of that ledge, we'll have to open that door. Oh, so the, the bu- these are buttons to open that door? Maybe. Oh, Oh, this is hard. Just smiley crocodiles. Like I can only do room. escape rooms. All right. Um, All right. So who's doing what? So Baston, you're there. I'm going to step, going to put a toe on a smiley face and press down. The, the smiley face in the first row. Okay. As soon as you do that. Yes. I get out of the way. <laughs> Ooh, Jehovah's spelt with an eye. <laughs> 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 the tile goes blue. Uh-huh. It seems to glow with a blue energy. And the tile on the at the bottom that's also friendly glows the blue energy. Ooh. Oh. So it's like this one, this one, and they glow together. All right, with, uh, all right. Well, let's step. So it's oh, it's like a um, it's like an extra monitor that's mirroring. <laughs> that's mirroring. You know when you do that? It's like let's that. step yeah. on the smiley. Okay, so now I'm standing on that tile. Yes. I want to step on the smiley face on the next row. How hard are you going to All right, it glows blue again, and the next one glows blue. Okay. So now he's standing on the second row, so say it okay. doesn't really matter which one. So now I guess I'll, I'll take my, I'll put my weight onto the second tile. Yep. All of my weight. And then I'm going to step on the third one. Happens again. Okay, and it goes blue. Yep. 
and you are now just five feet away from the ledge. Uh, Oh, God. Do I jump and try and grab on, or do I press the fourth button? You I'm going to press the fourth button. Take a leap of faith. <laughs> Jehovah starts with an I. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to step on the, on the, onto the fourth. It smiling. glows blue as well. It glows blue, and you hear sort of cogs spin, and then something click. I jump up real quick and grab onto the ledge. <laughs> Acrobatics, DC uh, 13. Uh, I don't Oh, no, no, sorry. You've got Bobby on your shoulders. So oh, do I still? You absolutely do. I guess so. I didn't get down. <laughs> oh, boy. I get, all right, here we go. So is that, that is makes it DC 15, I'll say. 13 plus 2 is 15. Yes! <laughs> you guys make your way onto the ledge, yep. um, and the, the icons all still stay blue, and you scramble up to the top of the ledge. Oh. And this, it's a door with four blue glowing tiles now. That's right. Oh. Push on the door. Is there a handle? Um, no, no, there's not. Push on the blue tiles in let's the same order that you... Okay, let's, let's push them in the same order then. Smiley, 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 smiley. As you push the first one, it glows gold. <gasps> Ooh. Oh. That is, this is the fucking... As you push having the second one, is it your glows password. gold. <laughs> 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 and then the doors open themselves, and you make your way through, and then they close again. Leaving Filch and Gribbets behind? That is correct. But that was easy. Woo! That was a smiley, smiley, smiley. Can't I just do that same route? Well, it's up to you now. Rivets? I'm dead. Oh, I'm dying. Ah. So what? Do we have to step through it, or couldn't we wait for for? for no, the to door come just made it happen. Did it? Uh, the door closed by itself. Okay. I tentatively put a toe on the smiley, same smiley one. Okay, it's the moment you do, it glows red, and suddenly you hear, like, um, winching cogs um, that start to rush, and um, it's gears groaning and water pounding, and then instantly the ledge behind you starts to winch up very quickly towards the ceiling, while the we- the ledge in front of you winches up towards the ceiling. Oh, And nice. then <laughs> the spaces between the tiles plunge down and water starts to slowly rise up between them. not slowly at first but then quite quickly swim to the ledge <laughs> um i'm no, gonna no, no, the ledges now go to the ceiling you're in a, oh. you're in a stone tomb how tall are the ceilings with rivets they're about they're about um i said they were 25 feet so it's 25 feet up i got 30 29 foot of rope but but it just goes to the ceiling there's no ledge anymore you can't get it just went all the way up all right i uh, make sure that gribbets is like on my shoulders like are you, um, are you securing the thing before of your child before helping others and yourself? You're picking, yeah. up, you're putting, picking up, putting him on your shoulders. Yep. Okay. Um, cool. So yeah, you've got you. So you secure him around your shoulders. Yeah, and I'm gonna just rush forward. Okay. The moment you take a step onto the second row, it glows blue, and the other tile disappears, and the ledges start winching back. And when you look back at the tile that was glowing red, it is now glowing blue. And oh, what, I don't and, get this and puzzle what, at and all. What one are you, and what one are you stepping on? Sorry. You yeah, step on I look down. One? What's my foot on? What's the crocodile look like? Uh, it's Snarly. Ooh. Okay. You look back at what you stepped on. It was Friendly Snarly. Friendly Snarly. All right, well, let's tread on another Snarly guy. All right. You tread on another Snarly guy? Yep. It glows blue as well. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> cool. I go Snarly Snarly. Next two. Bing let's bong. Let's more. Snarly again? Huh? No, I'm on the second one. No, you see, you went friendly, snarly, snarly. Friendly, snarly, snarly, snarly again. All right, it glows blue as well, and you make your way to the end. And does the ledge lowered itself down? By now, it has completely lowered itself to its position. Oh, great. Drama. Drama. All right, then I clamber on up. Okay, you're st- he's still on your shoulders? Yeah. All right, so that's again hard for you, so you're going to need to make DC 15. Pink light thoughts, gribbets. <laughs> uh, Nine just one. three. It should, be, it should be one roll. What? There was, it was nine and a three. So just, you, oh, you failed both of them? Yep. Yeah. All right, okay. Um, Gribbets, as you get up, you get to the top, but Gribbets falls off your shoulders. And the moment he falls off your shoulders and lands down, the four runes that you've landed on all turn red. And at that moment, the ledges start to climb again, and the water starts coming up again even faster oh, this time. Oh, shit, and Gribbets is down there. Gribbets is down there. You're He's holding on to the top, which is now rising towards the ceiling. Ah. It's going to squish your fingies. I draw. I let go. Okay, you <laughs> drop. Um, you drop about ten feet. You take four points of damage, and you oh. land on Gribbets. Let's say. Oh no! Oh. Gribbets, take one more death check. I. <laughs> so what happened to you? Simon. He's got a cat. He I'm rolling for Ben. Think Ben. I'm rolling thoughts. for Ben. 
17. Okay, you know what, Grimmets? You stabilize. In the absence of proper medical care, you look after yourself. You are now... No, yeah, you, you are awake, but you are so incapacitated, you can't do much except <gasps> complain. Oh, I'm getting real wet. I'm getting real soggy. Mm. What's happening? Um, So do I need to go back to the start of the rune board now? I don't know. Okay, I run... <laughs> can I run... Okay, Wait, I run what, back. what's Grimmets landed on? Uh, on the side... No, you're both on the... Yeah, you're, you're on the friendly side, but no tiles are lit at the moment. Okay. No, sorry, um, four of them are lit, but they're all red. All right, I'm going to go uh, back to the beginning. And so you're leaving Gribbets there? No, he's on my shoulders. So you're picking him up again? Yeah. And what are okay, the, the moment faces? you step on a tile, it glows blue again. Oh, oh what do I look it? down? Which one is it? It is the spiky crocodile. All right. This was not one you described earlier. <laughs> what were they? What were they? Sad? <laughs> it's no, the it's sad crocodile. Stupid. <laughs> it's, oh, stupid. Yeah, it's the stupid crocodile. Right. What's the stupid How crocodile look like? Silly yeah. face. He's oh, like, someone, will sh- like someone, will sh- someone will show us what these runes he's look he's like. He's the stupid. Out the side yeah. of his mouth. Yeah. And the eyes uh, rolling back <laughs> in his head. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. I go stupid, 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 stupid. Ding, 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 ding. All gold. Oh. Goody. Sorry, all blue. Good. All right, Bring so you go. That ledge. You go back to the top. It's the ledge has come down. Everyone gets why though, right? Well, mo- well, well, I don't know. I don't know, Benny. <laughs> Does am I? I you're, Wait till you're we've g- solved the puzzle. All right, whatever. <laughs> so I just, I don't know. So Normally, you, I'm you the last one. So. You're gonna get. No, I don't get why. Oh, okay. No, I don't get it either. either. Can I tell her? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you know no, what? wait till she's yeah. past it. All right, fine. <laughs> Is it like the parable? Is it first it was friendly, then it was angry? Not. Nah. Is it the seven dwarves? Do I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> again, are you, you're climbing up. Are you going to keep him on your shoulders? Because it's, it's harder. Why do you keep, keep asking that, Dave? You keep him why on your shoulders. Why are you harder? so concerned it's about harder. that? All right, <laughs> I'm going to bundle him up in 30 foot of spider web so he's nice and cushioned. Yep. I'm going to just chuck him up. Okay, great. Make a dexterity check for me. Five. That's a fail. The moment he leaves your hands, the runes all go red. Oh and no. the no. room starts to fill with water as the ledges start to climb. And I'm afraid, Gribbets, you take two points of damage, which means you are rendered unconscious again. <laughs> but I'm safe on the ledge, but the ledge is rushing toward the ceiling. No, no, oh, no. oh God. <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't actually even hit the ledge. Right. She hit it the wall. It was such a, an impressive fail. Oh, wow, Jesus. All right, I'm going to go back to the sad crocodile. So you're going to the front? So you're leaving Gribbets on the floor? No, I'll pick him up. Okay. I still don't get this <laughs> thing. Okay. Is I that you just every time? Why are you asking? I press the sad crocodile. Okay. So you're, are you holding rivets? What, what's going on? <laughs> He's like a little cocoon, right? Here's the thing. I, th- I can't tell you because I'm there. We're on the other side of the wall. Oh, I can't I didn't help work you. It out. Yeah, right. <laughs> we can't help you. Are you holding rivets? I, I put rivets on the ground. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> no, I pick him up! I pick him up! <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't get it! I hate this! <laughs> Everyone on the internet is watching <laughs> you fail! Stop it! I don't want to leave Grimace on the ground because he'll drown! He will, he will drown very quickly. It's okay, well then I leave him there and I just tread on a sad crocodile because that's the only one left. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the secret was being nice. <laughs> <laughs> I've been really nice this whole time. Sad crocodile, okay, make you it can, go blue. Do you want to see if you can shout through the ledge? <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Are we just hearing on the other side of the door? Ah! Thud! Ah! Thud! Blop, 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 blop. Thud! I go, Bobby, you figured this out? I think you're going to need a filled solution to it. All right, so the ledge is closed. The, the signs are... The ledge, they're all red at the moment. It's if I drop something, bad stuff happens. Oh! Gribbets is on... Gribbets is on the floor. If I drop... If Gribbets is on the floor, it's bad. <laughs> Oh, guys, I've had a lot of wine. This is a fair. <laughs> Where's the... Okay. To be fair, I think I only half get it. All right. When I drop Gribbits on the ground, everything turns red. But that's because he falls on the well, wrong Dougie, crocodile also, face, you threw right? Him, everything went red. And when you tried to climb and dropped him, everything went red. This yeah, is like the Christmas episode when Frizo didn't get... <laughs> I know. That yeah. just Every dragon friend it. will get this. What, what happens in the story? <laughs> Oh, you have to keep the crocodile. They have to keep it on your back for good things to happen. So I keep fucking grooves on my back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you put him on your back and then, then you press a, a glyph. Yeah, press it goes the go, sad it goes crocodile. Blue. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Press another one. I Guess what? It's fucking blue. All right, they're all blue. I press the other two. <laughs> yeah, so you, which, whatever ones you press, they're blue. And then I chuck rivets on the ground. They all go blue. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I pick him up. <laughs> All right, and Baston is there this time to help you and pulls you up to the top. Um, no, he's on the other side. So, do you climb up? Yeah. DC 15. Oh, 
<laughs> I'm mad from doing puzzles. I'm gonna. Can I go into another? <laughs> one dice. One dice. Can I go into another rage? I you, can't, you can't do a puzzle solving rage. <laughs> don't I? But I'm angry about having to do puzzles. Yeah, Alex is angry. Filch isn't angry. <laughs> isn't it disadvantage? Um, no, no. It's just DC 15. I just made it harder. Well, three. it's a three. It's a, another red um, hot three. That's one more death for Chet save for you, and then roll Can again. Can I try and get back through the door? That no, I the door's closed. But what kind of check was it? it All right, you're, you're fine. You're so loving good it. at one more time, dying. Alex. It just does more damage too. Seventeen. Okay, that will make it up. You. So you guys, <laughs> you make your way through <laughs> the puzzle <laughs> door, <laughs> and you make your way into a giant circular room. Now, by now, you guys have made it up three levels, and you are in the belly of the beast itself. Just to be clear, the glyphs didn't matter. No, 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 no. Well, you had to press... No. Well, I mean, Benny, obviously not. Explain. Yeah, the yeah Benny, explain. Yeah, Benny, explain the puzzle. Oh, it's just you kept asking, do you pick up gribbits or not? And I'm like, well, obviously, if she's holding gribbits, then whatever you step you on... You had to be holding matter. someone and the glyphs didn't matter. Yeah, if someone was yeah. on your shoulders. So, so Baston, you had Bobby on your shoulders, so it didn't matter what you hit. Oh. Yeah. Remember? Yeah. So remember, it was like Frizo, Just like, yeah, all you got to do is just be nice to people and... No, just it's been nice like to people. That's it seemed like that was the moral of the story. It's a lesson for life. Now you find yourself in a giant circular mad. room. There is a crack that is obvious. The there is a crack that is obviously the crocodile's mouth, and through it, a beam of light illuminates a central rocky pillar in the center of this room, with steps leading all the way up the pillar to a dais at the top <laughs> of the room. The room otherwise <laughs> is covered in effigies that seem to be a thousand men carrying a thousand crocodiles through a thousand culture, cities, and times. This seems to be the center, the heart of the temple. And everyone get on someone else's back. <laughs> um, <laughs> is there, is there, so it's a big room with all that shit on the wall. Yep. Like glyphs, is there anything in the center of the room? Just as I said, stairs leading up around a pillar to a dais. Oh. Dais, dais. Everyone's Ooh. been very nice. I think dais. All right, dais. Dais, dais. Well, all right. Bobby, you with me? Yeah, let's do it. Up let's on the shoulders. Let's climb this, climb these stairs. Okay. Wait, should we do a trap check? Do a little investigate. It's the wrong dice. Can you see? <laughs> That's a what D12. What can Bobby see? 13. Yeah, right, 13. That's enough. You actually see that one of the steps is slightly ajar. Watch out. Slightly ajar. Um, so be careful on the steps. Yes. W what happens? Okay, can I not step on that step? You can, yeah, you can miss that step. Okay. All right, so you guys I say what guys, you guys watch out for this step. Filge. Watch your step. Watch your On step. the steps, watch your step. All right, I'll All watch right. my step. You <laughs> what, what does that mean exactly? Just watch. Um, watch it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> climb up the steps. <laughs> Anything specific about those steps? Don't step on the loose one, dump. I don't tread on the loose one. All right, one. great. All right, so you're fine. You guys all make your way up the steps. Um, and as you get to the top, you see a platform. And that platform has a carved um, figure of two men holding two crocodiles. And on that is a plinth. And on that plinth, chained to it and shirtless, is the figure of Frizo, oh. the warlock. Oh. Shirtless. Gross. Yeah. I mean, it's got really home. tiny go nipples. Home. Yeah, Those yeah. ones that are unnaturally tiny, like pennies. Tiny too nipples. small. <laughs> um, and around it is a Do you a think they're pierced? Dave, uh, can we do a perception check? Are they pierced? Yeah, go ahead. Can we pierce them? <laughs> I got an 18. They're both pierced. Oh! oh that's canon. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> with tiny symbols of the t Temple of Mystra. And um, inside... <laughs> <laughs> and laid about him are um, gifts. You see uh, plantains, bananas, pineapples, <laughs> um, a alke like a jug. Keep naming fruit. Yeah, I, <laughs> I thought I, I was hoping they'd all be different types of bananas. But anyway. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Lady <laughs> um, <laughs> oranges, split. tangerines, mangosteens. Um, and you also see a kind of uh, earthenware jug and a dagger that is on a little stand with a curved blade. And standing in front of it with their backs to you, and in fact they somehow haven't noticed you, um, are two tall figures in towering robes. And in fact, Baston, you went up first to so make one more perception check for me. I, I reckon they're going to be two goblins on each other's shoulders. Ah, oh, oh. don't bo don't bother making the check. They're goblinoid feet. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> oh, it well done. Um, oh, they haven't spotted you guys as you crest the top. 
Um, oh. how, so this plinth is it covered on all sides? No, it's it's just it's just like a it's long way that you could fall down. Okay, so I fly down. I I, um, I whisper in Baston Deer, Let's crash tackle them and push them over the edge. Let's crash tackle them and push them over the edge. <laughs> what? Okay, so there's two of them. This is what I think. There I could should be four of them. Yeah. I want to do. Okay, I want to do this. <laughs> I want to do an action surge. Okay. Yep. And I'm gonna throw Bobby at one. What? And then I'm gonna fly kick the other one. <laughs> All right. Great. Great. Excellent. I want you to make for me a. Bam! <laughs> uh, make for me two attacks. First okay. of all, make um, a attack with, we'll call it a plus. A Bobby attack? Yeah, a Bobby attack. Okay, we'll so the little one is Bobby, yep. and the big one is my flight kick. All right, they both need to beat just DC. Hachi Machi! 12. <gasps> oh, oh, Bobby, 14. I might have <laughs> just thrown you off the. <laughs> 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 the fly kick hits, and two goblins turn around screaming before they fall to their depths. You go over the go wide and go over the side of the pillar, Bobby. Whoops! Um, make a dexterity check. How far down is it? Dexterity saving throw. Uh, that's a twelve plus uh, six. So it's f- uh, four plus. F- yeah, right. So you actually oh. manage to cling onto the side. Uh, quickly, the other two spin around. Filge, you're up next. Uh, Filge holds up Gribbets and says, "Looky, looky!" <laughs> he's not chained. He's unconscious and he's not chained to your arm. Huh? Looky, looky. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, ho- I'm holding up above my head and right. I say, Me hope this door has good returns policy. The goblin looks at you confused. Um, you've come to return the gift that we gave you? Well, it not much of gift if you took something precious to us. Okay, that's like... That just a trade. That's not culturally... You don't understand how this goblin tribe works. Did you come all the way here just to return our most prized goblin lawyer to us? Did we somehow offend you? And with that, they both draw draw curved um, scimitars. To an act of war. Of war. It's very hard to say of and war (laughs) next to each other. Do you want to do anything else? This is the end of your action. Um, I just put my hands above my head. You're holding. <laughs> he drops to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, with a wet thump, Gribbets drops to the ground, and I guess that's your action, um, which means that. I'm showing that, that I'm, you know, it's like a white flag. So the goblins are next. Okay. Well, and they draw their swords. They draw their scimitars. Okay, they and they charge. Yeah. All right, they charge, with, which is with advantage because they are in a Batiri battle sack, which means that they attack you, Filge, and hit you for twenty. Ouch. Twenty. Well, they hit it with the twenty, so you, only four points of damage. Baston, quickly, you're next. Um. So are they to the left of me? Yeah, yeah. I want to do a spinning back heel kick. When did you? T- are you going to take a level of monk? What's going I on? I definitely should. Right. I would probably succeed more often <laughs> at, at these things. All right, quickly. Make, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Make an I'm going to kick a sword. I gave you a sword. Uh, eight. All right, nah. you, yeah, you missed. Bobby, you Doesn't can scrabble. It. It's your turn. Yeah. Oh, so I'm, uh, I've, I've climbed, I climb up yep. the wall. Do I get another action? Uh, yeah, you, you, but you're still at a distance, but you still have that bow. Okay, so uh, I fire. Uh, are they on each other's shoulders yes. still? I fire at the bottom one. Uh... And that's a 12. That's a wrong dice. It's a 12 out of 12, which is very good. It's a wrong dice. Uh, Is that dice? Okay, let's try that again. 18. 18. Okay, that that hits, um, which means they weren't expecting you because you're on the far side, so we'll call that a sneak attack, which means that you get the bonus damage, which is 7 points, plus the d6 plus 2, which is another 7. So you do 14 points of damage, which kills the other one. Quickly make for me an acrobatics check for the top guy. Eh. Just dc 12. Eight. That Fail. does not do it. He, when he, as the top one, as the bottom one falls, the top one loses his balance yeah. and thinks for a second that he's got it, allowing him, if he wants one kind of last moment. As my foundations are knocked out from under me, so too do I fall <laughs> into the abyss. <laughs> <laughs> With a very appropriate um, voice for an accent such as that, he, t- he teeters and tumbles down the side of the pillar, which means that you guys have saved the day. You have ho- you are holding the dais. The goblins are nowhere to be seen. If there are other materi and if Baba Strigi is nearby, yes? I should have yelled out, I hope little Dita learns to fly. <laughs> It would have been good. Yeah, I didn't. There is time, however, <laughs> for rejoinders witty, uh, witty as that in the future. But for now, it seems that the Indian givers that you are have returned that thing which you gifted. 
unwilling as it was and have kept Gribbets into the bucket. Oh, we don't like that? No, that it's just no. really I unhealthy. Can't say it anymore. Yeah, yeah that's not say it anymore. I mean, it's not say? just like... Sorry it, for messing up your flow. It's, I mean, they're yeah. not even Indians, so... Give it I mean, it's already... I just, yeah. uh, Goblin see. givers? Can I Goblin have givers. Goblin givers. No, so it doesn't seem... It's being a bit harsh on goblins, isn't it? I'm just going to... Look, to be fair, we do need to come up with a new phrase for that thing. We do, we do. Yeah, we... Is it rude dudes? Rude dudes. 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 Rude For it seems that the gift that was once given to you has been reclaimed. Rude dudes that you all <laughs> are. Um, yeah. And in fact, more treasures into the bargain. And, uh, some kind of knife, a jug, and all the bananas, small and large, that you can eat are yours. A bounty for kings. A bounty for explorers in a strange and distant land. A bounty even, perhaps, for the dragon. Friends, thank you. Woo, woo, woo. Yay, um, we did it. This is, this is it. We did it. This is our Thanks. next episode. Thanks. Uh, Thanks. If you enjoyed Thanks. the show, we're going to be doing these every week at this time, minus two hours till this time. Yeah, wherever, you, wherever you are and you're watching this, this is the time that it'll come to yes. you. Yes. This is the time that it will end. Yeah. Sorry? This is the time that it will end. This is the time that it'll end. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes. Um, so look at your watch and think two hours before that. <laughs> Unless, of course, you, you didn't watch it live and it was just cached and you're watching it yeah. any time during the week. Then it will be there. But if you tune in at this time every week, you will have just missed it yet again. <laughs> <laughs> See you again next no, week you saw, for about you, 30 seconds. But then you can just watch it immediately at any time you want. Yeah. It's, it's the internet. Also, also <laughs> if, you, if, you, if you enjoy the show, Netflix. and um, one of the things we love so much is people drawing dumb shit. So if you feel like watching... Uh, <laughs> Dumb shit. The stuff Gribbit. that we do. If the you feel like watching Gribbits being uh, sexually humiliated or... <laughs> don't draw that. There was don't a lot of wonderful that. things to There's draw. I thought spiders things. and things. Yeah, yeah um, draw the crocodile. Just yeah. people stacked or on Or Gribbits dying people. or Gribbits being smashed against a wall. If you yeah, want to watch draw Gribbits being hmm. thrown like hmm. a grappling hook only to land against a wall. Or if you I would like to see Gribbits as the morning star. That was a pretty great moment. I'd like to see a dumb crocodile face. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, also, if you are in Sydney... Um, Next Tuesday, we're going to be doing our other um, campaign. It's coming Tuesday. Oh, yes. It's coming Sorry, Tuesday, Tuesday, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're doing other um, live campaign at Giant Dwarf. Uh, it's it's a kind of a shadow runny thing. Uh, come along to that. Um, but hey, otherwise... Just, just to go back to that drawing, I don't know if anybody else was picturing them all as the little Lacoste. Um, emblems. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so can someone can so draw? Where should they send them to? Oh, you just send them to our, our Facebook. Just like us on Facebook. Send it or tweet it at us. Just tweet it right at our put faces. It, put it on at Instagram at and tag the us. Dragon friends. At yeah. Dragon yeah. friends. Or Dragon draw friends. it on a piece of paper, wrap that piece of paper around a brick, and throw it through any window in Australia, and it'll <laughs> find its way to us. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Or Good day, as the case may be. Yeah. Good day, as we say. And we're in. All right. I think oh. we did that. Look at that. That was... Uh, are, we, are we on television? We are on television. That's a delay. Pay no attention to the screen. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hey. I'm Ben. I'm Dave. Uh, thank you for watching the first uh, episode, or well, second episode, really, of um, uh, The Stream Annihilation. We had a lot of fun making it. It's 2 p.m. Saturday now, which is why we're dressed like scummos. Oh, what? Scummo? I mean, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah fair, fair. Yeah, no, no. Um, Benny's away. Benny went to the zoo. Benny went to the zoo. Nice. Ah, uh, yeah, they're talking about t your t-shirt. Which oh, is good. yeah, thank you. Well, well, well spotted. Um, honky so, Chan, hon Honky Khan. So we have we have a couple of uh, questions that you have kind of put to us. Um, we'll answer them in no particular order. Mm. Um, and if you've got any more questions, just throw them at us right now because we'll stay on for a little bit, um, answer any questions, and yeah, yeah, we'll go away. I like this. I'd like to start with this one, which is from. Um, oh, um, in case anyone was wondering. Um, yeah, it happened. It happened. It arrived. It arrived. So. It was. I regret everything. <laughs> Um, uh, yes, man, Kablam asked if Baston was planned, um, to be a, an actual player, an actual character from the start. Yeah. I was in New York when Baston happened, so I can't really answer that. But no. Dave. So Eden, Eden came in to play, uh, NPCs for our Ravenloft campaign. And in the first episode, he played uh, some great characters. He played a, a, a sort of wench called Bitsy and a youth pastor called Brazley. And yeah. But he also played a com character that was completely disposable, just a town bully called Baston Indurovich. Mm. And we just couldn't get rid of him. Yeah. And I, I think it just happened quite naturally. I think like I think the moment that we were like, oh, this is a thing, is when Simon did art of him. Yeah. When Simon made character art. Because Simon does all the art. Um, all our art on our website is like 
uh, the website's done by Shaq, mm. um, but the the art's done by Simon. And so yeah, when when Simon drew him, we we're like, oh, it's character never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. No, no. So so eventually there was a point where we printed pins and we printed the best on pin. And Eden was very quiet through the design process. And then the moment the pins arrived, he was like, ah, suckers, I'm a pin. <laughs> yeah. You can't get rid of me. <laughs> and we realized he had a point. Um, now, uh, Tacky Hammer asked a couple of questions. Tacky Hammer wanted to know um, what uh, the plan was for Leonard in season one. Um, anyone who's just seen us on Twitch, we have a podcast. We've done three seasons of it. Um, and it's... Yeah. Yeah. So in season one, Ben created a character in the first episode, kind of the anti-Baston in that we planned for him. We, 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 we planned so much for him. Um, he was going to kind of be this kind of dorky kid who kind of was, was a bit of like a uh, Dick Grayson sort of thing. Where That's he, a little bit of a pickup artist. Well, yeah, I mean, I think, I think my problem was that I just found a joke with him that I thought was funny, which was to kind of make him a, a bit of a pickup artist on the night. Cause, and, and as a result of that, he killed him immediately. Like, I think he got like three lines out. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And it's funny because that actual, that act of casual murder is actually the inciting incident for sort of everything that happens in season one. Yeah. Because um, we had really good plans for season one. Yeah, we had to throw them out. But that whole first episode, after Leonard dies, we're basically playing it by ear because every, I couldn't do the adventure that we planned. So it was complete sort of like chaos from there on in. Um, actually, uh, Corellin and Kale asked a question. Sorry for anyone that hasn't listened to the podcast. Um, I think as we do more of these, we'll talk more about this stream. But this makes, thing you just saw, yeah. It makes sense that this one is about the podcast a bit. Um, Corellin was asking about what happened to Irina, um, who got stuck through the portal at the end of season two. Very well remembered. Yeah, presumably Irina Koyana is somewhere in 2075 future Japan. Yeah. And um, but the Dragon Friends in typical fashion have forgotten that. So that, yeah, well, that's on them, really. But also, I will say, you know, Zoe Norton Lodge lives very close to the theatre and I, as far as I'm aware, enjoyed her time last time. So... Uh, she could come back. Yeah. I think we want to make sure that all the characters that haven't died keep coming back. As far as I'm concerned, Dilge is gone, and um, what was Carlo's bravest boy in Wickshire? What bravest boy in Wickshire? Ed- Edvard? Edvard Ostvik. Um, yeah. They're both dead, but um, <laughs> other characters that... And so is Horsey Two Horse, of course. Um, yeah. Rest in peace. Um, um, I dunks asked what it's like doing it in front of a... without having a, a real crowded meat space. Um, it's really different. Um... But not as different as we thought it would be. We were actually, when we were deciding whether or not we'd do this um, at all, whether we could do it, that was a, a huge consideration. Like, our whole thing is feeding off an audience. And we were quite scared, actually. Yeah, because, like, I think I think one of the big things is, because we're all improvisers, we kind of know if a joke's funny if, like, through an audience. Yeah, yeah, totally. And we know how far you can take a joke and, and keep hammering it until it's no longer funny. Um, but it actually turns out that we're all kind of self-indulgent enough that we just like making each other laugh. And, and That was the thing that actually surprised me, is when we play it on stage, um, we are playing D&D, but it feels like an impro show. It feel, like We understand that. It's like comedy at a comedy venue. When we did what you just saw the other night, it felt more for me than I'd ever had with Dragon Friends, just like playing d and I'd say what was weird, the, the weirdest thing was doing it in Seattle, because that wasn't doing it by ourselves. That was doing it for like 20 crew members who all had very involved jobs. Yeah, yeah. And so we're just kind of... Do- we're not laugh. And we're just kind of doing their own thing. And like, that was really surreal. Um, okay, I just want to address it. Uh, like four or five of you, I can't name check all of you, um, but uh, a lot of <laughs> a lot of people have been asking if me and he are going to do another free to Ruben home. Um, the, an- the short answer is yes. Um, <laughs> the long answer is no. <laughs> Oh, well, King travels so much, but we are when he gets back from, um, I believe he's in Bolivia. He's not in Bolivia, he's yeah, in when, Vietnam. When King gets back from Bolivia, he's we your are good gonna, friend, King. He's <laughs> in Vietnam. We are going to try and do a, a couple more. Um, Alex Lee asks, do you feel bad about your muggy weather joke? Yeah. Because you could. I regret nothing, Alex. No, it was a terrible joke. It was a wonderful joke. It was, it was your first. In many ways, you had three months to think of that joke. <laughs> um... What's happening with the Patreon? Um, Drew Corio, that's a really good, really fair question. Um, yeah, look, so we are very bad at getting our Patreon rewards out. We're getting them out, but we get them out very, very slowly. Uh, if you ever have been a Patro for a while and you feel hard done by it, we, we sort of miss you out, just send us a message because we are slowly getting stuff out to people. 
I think we're gonna relaunch our Patreon. So it's a lot simpler. We have we have like twenty levels at the moment. We're gonna yeah. we're gonna go to a really simple free one. And we're going to make it. We're actually. It's we can't actually sort of talk about it just yet, but we have plans right after Tomb of Annihilation ends to basically create Patreon content. Uh, we're going to talk more about that probably in these Q and A's, but probably closer to the end of the season. Um, so, you know, people that say there's never been a better time to join the Patreon, there will be a better time to join the Patreon, <laughs> and it's in a month or a couple of months. Well, you know, you can still do it now. Oh, yeah, I mean, if you want to see this guy get a tattoo, that's the thing that makes it... Yeah, we will be, we will be, uh, live twitching somehow, or live, live streaming somehow for the Patreon, me getting the Dragon Friends tattoo, which will be great. Um, Honey Khan asks... What union did the dinosaurs unionize through, and are they unionizing... The choppies. It was the choppies. It was the choppies? The choppies. The choppies? Well, that's the joke. Ah. Oh. It's a very Australian joke. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like okay. CDA. Yeah. 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 Um, I uh, thought that was great. No, no, wonderful. Sure. Oh, never mind. Um, uh, somebody asked, are we going to do a live Twitch one? Is it yes. in the audience? No, no, we are. So That's the plan? Yeah. The reason we do this here at Benny's mum's house is because... The internet um, in the pub, which we love, where we do it, is terrible. And the internet at Giant Dwarf is quite good. So we are going to start, over the next few months, experimenting with doing some live Twitch broadcasts of our podcast recording. But we will... And that might be... We've got to work out what channel that will be on. We'd love to do it here, but it might also be on our channel. Yeah. And then um, we want to actually start doing specific Twitch stuff. And we might even do some side stuff, like outside the D&D. Like, we've got ideas of playing... Just fiasco or cards against humanity. Yeah. If there's something that you guys think you'd like to see us play around a table, tweet at us because we just invested a lot in streaming gear and we are open to suggestions on how to recoup some of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Also, I will say if you do want to come, some people asked um, uh, in the in the in the questions if they could actually come and watch us on Thursdays record mm. the stream of Annihilation. The answer is yes, if you live in Sydney um, and you the, the, the pub is called the Peterson Public House and it's a tiny little room upstairs so we can probably only fit about 20 of you in there. Um, if that's something you want to do from the next episode, we'll be doing it with an audience uh, and that'll be really fun and really hard because uh, it's a te- te- technical nightmare. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so you can kind of come and watch that and grab a beer uh, and eat a burger with us while we do this show mm. um, and we'd love to see you there. So if, And if we're going to Sydney, charge nothing for it and if you're on the Patreon or you've you know, like, we'll, we'll, there'll be a lot of ways to get in for free. So, yeah. Yeah. And you might get to meet Gizmo. Well, yeah. you will get to meet Gizmo. Take a Zyrtec if you're allergic to Gizmo. Gizmo will be all up in your shit. Yes. Um, somebody asked, is there, can you give us a hint for the next guest coming up on Tuesday? We can't. No. Uh, and we won't. Yeah. You know why? Because he hasn't replied to my <laughs> messenger asking him if he wants to do the show. But uh, if he does, he might sing a song. Exactly. Well, <laughs> so the Dragon Friends Twitter tag... Um, is um, Dragon Friends without the vowels. Is Dragon that right? Friends. Is that I, right, I, Alex? I'm just going to write it in here. Um, it's that on Twitter. Yeah, so please, we, we suck on Twitter and we'll get better if more people follow us, basically. Yeah. Um, also, we got like this, um, and we got... Is that right? That might not be right. Look at me, I'm a mod. I can put links in the chat. Ha! Take that. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, um, somebody asked what my favourite NPC voice to do is. Um, it's weird. <laughs> okay, well, why don't we just try a couple? So, what was your voice <laughs> for a crocodile? Uh, okay, look, I know where you're going with this. I know a lot of them are Snagglepuss. I think, a couple of them are Snagglepuss. I think my favourite voice to do. Oh, do you know who I like that really? we don't hear a lot of? No. And it's not completely, it's a bit like Bobson. But in the second PAX, yeah. the Paddish Exile. Yeah, I don't know if we ever... We put that out, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's horny for a tawny? Yeah, that guy. Yeah, he was All great. Right, but Strahd. I, I, I enjoyed Strahd a lot. You want to give us a little Strahd now? Uh, no, I think people can go back and listen to season two. Strahd was the villain in season two. Uh, he was, uh, he's, he's a real D&D character, a kind of very smooth, svelte vampire that I insisted on playing as... Um, a sort of Australian bogan um, madman, which was extremely fun. Um, the there's a um, one of the things that you miss, and why I'm excited that we're going to do more streaming is that some of the stuff that we did with Stride that you couldn't see on the podcast. Like for the finale of Ravenloft, uh, Ben actually jumped onto the stage in a dr- sort of Dracula cape, um, yelled out "Good day." Expletive, it's me, Strahd, and then slammed a tinny of VB and threw it at the audience and decked someone. That was good. I hit someone right in the head. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. Uh, any other questions? Yeah, we've really got time for like one or two more questions. If anybody has any questions, and the return of Snagglepuss does not count 
as a question. <laughs> oh, we had some from before. Um... Oh, official stuff planned with Wizards of the Coast. We had so much fun going to Seattle. Um, like Greg, Tito, and like the whole team that got us out there. It was amazing. I think what I'd really like us to do is try and do more crossovers with some of the people we met there. Like we spent quite a bit of time hanging out with like the Yogs cast, Uncharted Territories yeah. guys, um, the Girls Got Glory people. That was fun. They were really fun. And we code words with them. Yeah, we, code names. Yeah, code yeah. names. Yeah, yeah. We had great fun. Uh, that's another game we could play on this. Yeah. And yeah, I want to do more crossovers, and we would love to go to an American con sometime. Oh, that'd be super fun. Yeah, so, like, for us, it's just, we're very far away, and there's a lot of us, so it's really an expensive undertaking. Yeah. Um, one question, who started Dragon Friends? We also did. Um, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's been the same crew from the very beginning. Um, obviously, Eden came in in season two, um, but, um, yeah, we kind of, we, we, we've been doing stuff together for ages, about maybe ten years at uni, doing comedy shows in various iterations, um, Obviously, I work with Alex on the checkout, and um, yeah, the, I, the weirdest thing, this was quite a tough sell for almost everybody. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, totally. Like, we really had to be like, no, I think this is going to be good. And yeah, it's funny, funnily enough that we were doing shows, and we were talking about how it would be funny to just try playing a game of D&D, yeah. but for a long time, we didn't want to put the two together, because we thought it would be audience arsenic, basically. Yeah, 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 we really did. So yeah, that, we all, I mean, that's kind of one reason why it's so fun to do because yeah. everybody kind of built it together and so we all kind of get it. Yes, we would love to be extras in the Dragonlance movie that Joe Manganiello is doing. We are available. Um, <laughs> we will um, We will basically tie the hands of our agents and make it very easy for us to be in there. Yep. We're willing to be exploited to be in that movie. Um, so I'll just put that out there. And yes, will Sir Cromsby meet Sir Grimsby, Overlord 107? I've been talking to Mark Holmes at Yogg's cast and we've decided they already know each other. Uh, yeah. They're both members of the Water Dead. They're kind of rivals and they hate each other, right? Yeah, and so we yeah. are actually hoping that we will learn, as we learn more about Sir Grimsby, we will learn more about how his paths have crossed with Sir Cromsby and the way that those two parties um, actually interact. That's yeah. something that, like, as a big old dork DM, I'm really excited about <laughs> doing. Um, well, this has been really, really fun. Um, we'll be back next week. Um, same time, same place. Yeah. Um, if you missed, if you just tuned in and want to see the, the VODs going up. Yeah. When... And you can you can get in touch with us. If you drew art or you have a question, you can tweet at us. Uh, you can t t send us messages on Facebook. Yeah. Um, or you can just wrap them around a brick and throw them through Ben's window. Okay. Ben well, lives in Redfern. Don't, uh, just don't. DM me. I'll send you his address. <laughs> um, yeah. And... There's a lot of people in that apartment, so make sure you get the right window. Ah, good, good, good. Thank you. Good See night. you. Good afternoon. Goodbye.